welcome back everyone um to uh, a campaign that i am effectually calling the madness of perfection um follow up to uh the initial campaign which introduced a lot of these fools to D, &D. um and now we switch off between campaign arcs between myself and one of our other lovely players who's not here um picking up where we left off last time um we had a rather um introspective session um the party had recently uh rescued uh the young son of uh gert trostalo uh the innkeeper of uh the small outpost village of trostalo uh on their way uh yesterday um on their way to frost follow uh, where they have been hired by one of the masters of the city of to go investigate some disturbances disappearances kidnappings the the usual you know um they returned to the small little village uh, much to the belief and delight of gert the innkeeper uh and spent the evening uh with recoup resting recuperating uh and um contemplating um some characters contemplated their their place and their nature in the universe uh, others contemplated their purpose uh, with the party itself and, and their life and adventures on the road. And others threw a metaphysical hissy fit that they weren't getting attention from any special super people in the sky. Um, however, um, prayers were thrown out, meditations were had, and some thoughts were answered more directly than others. Uh, but we arrive here in the morning, uh, the party ready to set out, with the surprise inclusion of Haruki, who has decided to join the party, at the very least to make sure that uh, the young girls that they also rescued um, from Brienne's uh, illusioned house uh, make their way back to their, their hometown of Frostfollow. Um, it was with this happy inclusion that the unfortunate news of Rethanir's leave was announced. Rethanir revealed that he um, received a vision from uh, the Judge of the Damned, uh, Kelimvor, God of the Dead, his patron, uh, and left on a singular mission, saying that if it is within the will of the Lord of the Light, he will return to the party when needed. So goodbyes were given, middle fingers were exchanged um, between our um, resident uh, half-elf mage and the cleric, uh, and you all set on your ways. Um, you now f uh, are on the road. All of you have been horsed up. Dinar, your uh, erythral mount, uh, your elk, stands stalwartly in front of you, enthusiastically waiting to head out. Uh, what would you all like to do? Mm, DM, are we still heading towards Demesca? Demesca is another continent. Yep. Um, many thousands of miles away. Yeah, wasn't it we were moving like an inch on this map? <laughs> barely, barely. Yeah, yes. it's very tiny. I feel like this map got bigger. Uh, you're, you're, on, you're on the world map currently. Yeah. Ooh, I want to go to Bar Barovia. I mean, Barvonia. Okay, so. Have we left uh, Trostalo yet? You guys are just on the... Uh, you it's still within visual range uh, you guys are on the trail uh, you're kind of at a, at a low hill where you see the uh, the road kind of continue before you and meander through these these kind of somewhat overgrown rolling hills um, it is a cool crisp morning um, the sun uh, is in in the sky it's about it's a clear sky it's about maybe I'd say nine o'clock in the morning at this point or no, probably earlier that probably eight so uh, you guys got you most of you guys got up at the sun so it's um i'd say it's around eight o'clock in the morning uh you all kind of watch as rethanir uh go, travels back up the road the way you all came um past trost tallow uh, which is still within visual dis uh, range and disappears over as the road itself turns over a different hill um uh, i guess uh, I'll, I'll i'll turn and look to the party and be like uh so, shall we head out? Uh, before we head out, Haruki, have you been to Frostfellow before? 
Uh, no, but I know of it. Like, I knew it was close to this town. I haven't been there personally. Okay. I'll go up to <coughs> Jonar. Well, Jonar, looks like you're the leader of this party now. So, uh... I guess so. I believe you've been here the longest. You should give I, us your eternal wisdom in this. I feel team. like this should be a democracy. Um. <laughs> I do believe in Donar's wisdom. I mean, that's fine and all, but we should really, you know, uh, get these children home. Home. How about we yeah. we we, we sort it out on the way? We have children. Yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, hello there. Ah, yes. Little girls, I do remember you, of course. He... <laughs> one of them kind of just giggles. Um, the other one is like shyly trying to hide behind Haruki's armor plate. <laughs> um, I kind of just start trotting off in the direction of Frostfollow. Let's let's take these these young ladies back. Mm. What what a wonderful idea. <laughs> and so right. we walk. Alright, so I believe the party all has horses. And so uh, we mount. Yes, I think we do. Um, actually, I'm, I, forgive me, I'm so sorry. I need to go grab one thing really quick. Oh my god. He well, forgot Abby. the horses. Uh, uh, guys, everyone, in about five minutes, look outside your homes. You're going to be so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we all live more than five minutes apart from each other. True. That's an owl. What's an owl? There's an He's owl on, city? on Breezy's shirt. No. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Um. Me? Okay. All right, guys. So, well, how are we gonna screw him over? All right, this is what this we do. We kill the kids kill. and we just run. Okay. No. 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 We, I can't even. No, joke we about become that. the kids. Oh, we become the kids. We are. We kids. just. We. All right. We. I, I. We all do the spell disguise and we disguise as them. We're all children. All right. that's, that's a terrifying notion. <laughs> um. So, you guys, um, based on the description that Tenomarsk gave you before, um, Dinari, uh, Krenor, and, and Melin, you guys all know that you have about two and a half days of travel ahead of you. Um, or I should, uh, about a, I should say more like 75 to 100 miles of travel ahead of you. Um, how how fast do you guys want to travel? Do you want to get there quick? Do you want to take your time? Do you want to go at a more of a regular pace? You said oh. it was like 9 o'clock in the morning? It's like 8 o'clock. It's a little okay. earlier. Are these kids, do they look like they're okay? I mean, they still look a little haggard. I mean, they're better um, than they were before. They're, they're much, little... much better. They're, they still seem a little... A little nervous one is one is clinging very closely to haruki the other is riding on the back of Ezias's horse okay i think uh if the kids are okay with it we should go normal pace so as not to tire them out are we gonna go for some ride yeah, yeah. oh yes are you ready to ride have you ever ridden on a horse i i, I ridden as a cart when mama and papa when we came here but we were on the road before we didn't get to ride on the horses we were told not to oh well, this will be real exciting for you. Ooh, this is... But oh, only so one of you gets to ride on the horse. You'll have to fight it out. No. <laughs> he, that's, no that's wrong. Don't, no. Don't the do moment it. you say that, the one that's on Ezio's horse turns around and tries to go to leap <laughs> <laughs> over her sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, doesn't face plant, but gets maybe about three feet before she like awkwardly lands on the ground foot and does like a little like hop skip where you like try to like balance on your one f like you land on one foot and you're trying to like, bat, like <laughs> maintain will... that and not fall over and she looks over and is like are Whoa. we really doing this are we really doing this okay okay no it's fine you it it, it that was my nope. fierce but no no we're not fighting now we're not fighting now. how uh how big are the girls they're like maybe six years old it, they're both six years old yeah they're twins so yes oh they're twins okay um, do they both look scared by me? Um, see, or follow-up question. Would I notice that they look scared by me? You honestly probably wouldn't notice. Um, okay, never mind then. I take it back. <laughs> but I will say that they, 
given everything that's happened to them, they don't seem particularly put off by your appearance. Okay. Mm. Um, how many? So we all have one horse, right? That's mm. all of our horses. Correct. Okay. Uh, do either of you want to ride with me? And I point at like the huge elk. <gasps> Hell yes. Hell yes. I don't believe he was talking to <laughs> you, Connor. <laughs> Oh well, I'll just, yeah. immediately I'll just give it to one of you. Immediately, the Haruki, the one that's sitting behind you, Silva, she starts trying to like get off and like. Whoa, jump whoa, whoa, whoa now uh, I kind of help her down. Uh, it, it, Silva has already ran over to you, Dinar, and is like trying to like climb up the tail of the. Okay, of, of the I'm elk. gonna gently pick her up and put her on top of the elk. Right, e easy enough. You, you with one large scaled hand, reach down, and grab her, and kind of put her pull her up to the top there. The uh, Haruki, the one by you, just kind of goes, uh, Silva just goes, ah. No, well, you, you will, they'll, we'll take turns, right, Dinar? Yeah, of course. Okay, there you go. That won't slow you guys down at all? Nope. <laughs> let's continue. Let's, uh, let, let's, We'll uh, take ten steps and switch the ten steps and switch. <laughs> yeah, right, let's so get you... this puppy moving. All right, so you guys, um, head Wait, out Wait, there's a puppy? At... No. Oh. You guys head out at a normal pace. Um... So, would right, the girls hit. be comfortable at normal pace? Yeah, it's a that's a steady. You, you're you're going at a steady trot, um, as opposed to like knockout full gallop. Okay. Um, you guys are getting, I'd say, about because you guys are traveling with horses and don't, don't have any carts. Um, a little. You have the kids, so a little faster than normal pace than like normal speed. So you're doing it about, I'd say, maybe 25, 26 miles. You can get through it in the day. What's you know, you our have... horsepower? What? What's our horsepower? Uh, five. Um. So it'll take you probably another about three days or so to get there. Three um, days? I thought it was two. Uh, it's about seventy. It's about seventy-five-ish miles away still. Okay. Okay. And you guys decided to travel at a regular pace. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, uh, I mean, do you guys think that we took out what was stealing everything? Uh, we could follow up and frost swallow. I think. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, you know, it's regular time. One of the girls is on Haruki's horse, right? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Silva is on Haruki's horse, and Silva, Sulva, is on um, Nars elk. Um, and she's okay. just kind of looking around back and forth. Uh, Silva's like. Trying to like reach up and grab the horns. Um, so you guys travel. I'm gonna say uh, who's ever leading this. Uh, Farty, just make a general uh, per uh, perception check, please. I vote for Donar. I feel like Donar's probably in front. But... Okay. Uh, <laughs> what was that general what? No. Perception actually, check. Actually, Haruki did say he trotted off. Yeah, I would be. I would have been in front. I will say either you both can make perception checks, or one can give aid to the other, and one can roll with advantage. By like holding his eyeballs. I want to make my own. Okay, well, he's making it his own, so... Yeah! 14! 14, okay. Uh, like yep, 14. 14. <laughs> okay. You guys travel throughout the day. Um, uh, it's a very nice day, actually. Uh, the weather stays very calm. There's a very, very light breeze. Um, like I said, it is more of a crisp morning. Uh... The sun, there's nary a cloud in the sky. The sun uh, above you makes its, uh, the, the singular burning orb makes its its travels across the sky. Um, you, uh, uh, neither of you notice anything that would cause alarm while you're traveling. Um, uh, at one point, you, the, uh, there's a, a start and a scuffle off to the side. Uh, and both of you look over to the to the right as you see, uh, expecting to see something. You just see, um, you hear the harsh gar, 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 of uh, four or five crows, um, like apparently disturbed as they were fighting over something in, over in the brush, and they, they fly off. Hmm. Um, but it's relatively open. You're traveling through, like I said, uh, rolling hills. Uh, so it's more of, a, of an open expanse. It's easy mm -hmm. to see uh, everything. Um, you do notice there seems to be a thin, thin stretch of wooded um, land ahead of you. Um, and based on the rate that you're going, you're probably going to get there by the end of the day. Um, 
So you guys, it's about the time the sun goes down, you guys have been traveling for maybe about half an hour into this thin strip, this almost like copse of, uh, of, of wooded trees. Um, the leaves themselves are like more of a, of a dark green, um, rounder with uh, a three three kind of prong, not prongs, that's that's far too aggressive word. Um, look like oaks, I'll say that. Various types of oak trees, the fantasy equivalent thereof. Um, but it seems uh, quiet, peaceful, um, and a decent spot to make camp for the night. Um, even though he's not here to do it, uh, I will say that um, uh, Eltor continues to use Lemuel's tiny hut and keeps you guys well hidden for the night. Um, night passes. Okay. Um, night passes. Uh, uneventful. Uh, all right. So next morning, um, we'll have, um, for the sake of brevity, I'll have, um, uh, I'll give two people the opportunity to make, um, perception checks for the next two days. Do you want to keep it as Dinar and, and Haruki? Um, I'll I take mean, one of them. If we're being honest, I'm mostly just pointing stuff out to the girl that's riding with me. Okay. I'll, I'll <laughs> still do the, I'll still do yeah. the perception All right, do, do one of you want to give the other advantage, or do you just want to do your separate Who is it, me and Haruki? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you want to do separate? Uh, sure, why not? Alright, so I'd like both of you to make two perception checks for the next two days. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, seven for the first day. Okay. Ooh, that's also pretty bad. And twelve for the second. Eighteen for the first day and twenty-one for the second. Okay. So the next day of travel, um, nothing really uh, big occurrence happens. Uh, you're still in the woods. Um, it's and the the, the lack of direct sunlight, uh, rookie. You get a little bit sleepy. Uh, Silva was keeping you up last night, uh, asking you questions about your 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 gear, where you're from. You get to you know, mm -hmm. how did you get across Tallow? How like you know, do you have any friends here? <laughs> uh, you know, like twenty twenty thousand questions. Um, so you kind of like, nod off for a moment. Um, Malin, who's uh, up at the front with you, kind of nudges you on the shoulder, and you kind of awake with a start. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, uh, I, my apologies. <laughs> it happens. It's been a long couple of days. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the old age. <laughs> How old are you exactly? Uh, me? Um, <clears throat> I'm in my early 50s uh, and he kind of like does a stretch flex uh, kind of thing quite young <clears throat> yeah you could say so oh. Oh. but yes what about you how old are you 99 what <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a feeling age works differently where you come from um <laughs> uh, well, age is just a number no uh, how old are you <laughs> Kenor? me uh well you lose count around 200. <laughs> wait hold on. Uh, dinar how old are you like 16 17. Ooh, uh, oh, uh, but... Use, use your words. Why are you surprised by my age? We, uh, wait, how are you not dust, Cronor? <laughs> I yeah. asked myself that question too. Wait, how are you now? Uh, oh, had a very healthy upbringing. Um, praying to pay lower every day brings me the light, revitalizes me. You know. I wake up every morning looking to the sun knowing it's still a great day to be alive, you know? It's just, where I come from, there wasn't very much light. It was, it was very dark. Very dark. It was underground, actually. 
I lived there my whole childhood. Very long time, and, uh, you know, just being able to see the sun oh. bask in its warmth is... It's just really something. Oh. Have you ever you ever been underground, little girls? Let me t let me tell you. No, I, it's my okay. father. Yeah, used Mr. To Haruki, how far away are we from far? Uh, it's <laughs> two more two more days. How a yeah, hundred ninety nine? What does uh, that mean? I'm gonna live to ninety nine in this world, and how are you sixteen? You're you're not uh, uh, huge. No offense. I mean, I I am big, I think. I. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I. Okay. This. Oh. Okay. Okay. This age. You... <laughs> should... Work. How does age work? Where you come from? Um. I mean. Well. Normal, uh, I mean, uh, not to say I'm normal, I mean, you all seem relatively normal, right? Uh, just as a note, Melan, uh, and you would know this given your um, background and your connections with other people, um, humans in the world of Corinthia have the standard, what would be human lifetime, um, where it's rare for them to live past a century. Right, but <clears throat> I don't exactly know Haruki is human, right? Uh, you, you, he looks like a human. Um, I thought he was Asian. Uh, you don't know what that word means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, do we know that Haruki's from this place called Asia? I mean, he, you know that he's... The first thing he said to you guys when you guys sat down is that he's from another world. And that led to the whole conversation of the different planes. Okay. So... So uh, that's, as, that's as much as, as as you guys have gleaned from each other. Haruki, uh, are you human? Um, yes, yes, I uh, yes, I am. Yeah. You are you human? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> huh. uh, well, I mean, but I have good news. Well, uh, no, it's bad news. But... You probably won't live to hundred, but no, I know that. For a fact, I didn't live to 100 in the other world. I lived to a ripe 53. Well, I did not know that. Oh. And normally people, you know, they live to their uh, 70s, 80s, if they're permitted to get old enough and, you know, not die. Uh, you need permission. Or... You need permission to get old enough uh, in your world. For my... I wouldn't say permission. Maybe you lucky enough. I, I no, but the, uh, in my village, a lot of people did live to a ripe old age of 70, 80s. Yeah, so maybe a couple 90s there and so, but, you know. Hmm. Interesting. And I write off. Uh, okay. This place that is so is strange. So strange. Did, did I notice anything from those perception checks? We were going to get to that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Whispers. I was no, I was waiting in for you guys to finish up your your discussion. Okay. Uh, didn't want to interrupt any character development. <laughs> um, and that's a tree, and that's a leaf. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> the girl is happily, happily, because I didn't get to say this out loud. I said it in chat. She is happily braiding the front of the elk's hair and fur in front of Dinar. The, elk's, the elk lets it. Uh, be begrudgingly, but yeah, but <laughs> the master said so, so I will. Um, I'll, feed, I'll feed him better later. Malin, um, so the the morning of the third day, um, the you get up a bit earlier than the rest of them, uh, and you start to kind of scout out. You're getting to the edge of the woods. Uh, you see the woods open up, and you can you can actually see there's a break in the woods, and there's maybe about half a mile to a mile of open land and you can start to see what looks to be like the grayish smudge of a stone or metal wall some some civ mark of civilization um uh as you um get to the edge of the forest there uh because of that roll you do um you you look over to the edge and you see um 
you see a but uh, a dark bird uh, perched uh, lower in one of the branches to the trees around you. It kind of shuffles and hops and kind of looks around a little, and you, you stare at it for a second. And as it kind of blinks its eyes and turns towards you, you notice um, the eyes are completely blood red and irisless, or pupilless, excuse me. Uh, huh. Uh, have I ever seen something like that before? No. Yeah. Never seen something like that before. Uh, I approach it cautiously. Okay. You approach it cautiously. It's kind of hopping about. Um, ah. <laughs> like, starts preening its, fe its feathers with looking around. Doesn't seem to notice you, or care. <clears throat> I walk a little closer. The fuck are you? <laughs> its eyes snap right to you. <laughs> I uh slowly back away. <laughs> it kind of flaps its rings. <laughs> flies away. <sighs> that was weird. I should get back to the group. And I, uh... Oh, can I check the area, see if the bird dro like dropped anything, or...? Uh, sure. Make an investigation check. Uh, <laughs> All right, we spent about 20-ish minutes or so combing the area. Um, frustrated, you don't really find anything. Uh, the rest of you, you all kind of wait worriedly as Malin, who had just said he's stepping out just to get a, a road, like a, a, a view down the road, um, hasn't come back, and it's been about 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> um, should we check on him? Leader, what do you say? I can go in for you. And that one's a branch, and that's a grass. I will uh, go check on him. He is right. wise. You turn the corner, and Malin is right there. He's walking back. Uh, and maybe 10 feet up the trail from you. You, uh, everything all good? You ready to head out? Hmm. Uh, I suppose. There is, a. Uh... I saw what seemed to be a stone wall or some kind of construct up ahead some sign of civilization maybe hmm. we must be getting close then it might be farmland, farmland or such now i don't know if you agree with me but mm -hmm. last we heard from uh, uh dm what was the name of the person that gave us the quest i don't know what was the name of the person who gave you the quest <clears throat> That's a good question. Um, <laughs> Damn yeah. it, we're missing the one person who paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh... You weren't there, but the woman who uh, contracted her, our services... Her, her name was Tana Marsk. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, Tana Marsk. I don't know if you've heard of her, but... Uh, I can't say I have, but... Unimportant. Uh... She did mention, if I recall, that she hadn't received any letters from this town in quite a while in response to her letters. What do you mean? That she found out about missing children from a contact in the city. And it, it had, by the time she had told us about this quest, it had been weeks since she had received a response. So I think we should maybe tread carefully. I don't know what the vibe is in that town. Okay. I mean, well, letters do take time to travel. But I don't believe we've seen any couriers of any sort on the way there. True. Um, you wouldn't 
you <clears throat> suggesting that it, the entire town and or village is just gone, are you? And I don't so, think I'd take it that far, but... We should have not brought the children as far as we have. I think just erring on the side of caution would be satisfactory. We, we <laughs> should maybe check out the the area first before bringing the children. Okay. Maybe Look, leave guys, them. as long as there's no mist around and we don't kill any of the generals, we'll be fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Denar really says there. to Denar says to a group of people that have no idea what he's talking <laughs> about. Forgot. Actually, no. Well, no. Both both Eltor and Yezyaz give you a very like <sighs> look of of acknowledgement and acceptance. Um. Anyway, I, I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we'll we'll. Should we have someone scout ahead? <laughs> Eltor kind of po Eltor pops up and goes. Listen, I don't... I can talk, I can walk, but I can't, like, sneaky walk, if you know what I mean. Uh, I can stay back and watch the kids if you want. Eltor kind of, uh, as he has kind of pops up and goes, Fine, I'll stay with her too, if you... Bleed kids. Eltor as he goes, I... No one asked you, I didn't ask you. As he goes... It just goes, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, I'll stay, I won't go into the fight, it's fine. You don't have to tell me twice. Uh, there's this, you now banter before, back between the two of them as the elders like, I, I said, no, I said, I will stay. Go, and they're, they're arguing with the kids now as they hold them off to the side. I believe the situation has, um, taken care of itself. Uh, how? Good job, Donar. Um, <laughs> thank well, you. The kids will stay at the camp. We will go check out the village. If the village is okay, we come back for the kids. Okay. okay. Is, uh, is now, the, do we uh... see anybody passing on this road? Uh, no. It is remarkably absent of anybody but you. Also, is the hut still up? Like, can they stay in the hut while we... <coughs> Elter pops up again. Uh, it's... It only, like last about, uh, it only lasts about eight hours or so, and we're getting pretty close to that mark, so... Hmm. Right. Okay. Well, I guess we'll move quickly. Okay, if there's one thing I learned from Rethi, it's let's just go in. And I start riding down the road. Uh, All of the lessons to take from him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he's clearly... I mean, he is 16, right? I am the cleric of laugh. If Dan. it's if it's all the same, I'm gonna stay a little bit behind him. Uh, I'm not galloping, by the way. It's just like a nice little trot. I will I will try to catch up to Dinar. All right, it's easy enough. Uh, you, so you guys following the path towards the this stone structure that Meland described? Well, is that is the stone Did path he? the way? Is that in the way of the town, or is the stone path a, a separate entity? Milan, what you saw is for uh, the, the in the same direction the road was going, the path was going. Um, after this like flat expanse of land, like there's about a half mile to a mile of flat land, uh, you you saw this like stone wall structure thing, um, in the, all in the same direction. Hmm. Haruki, there was like a a stone wall across. You go down the path, and there's an ex like a stretch of land and. What appeared to be a stone wall. It it might be oh, okay. the walls of a town. Okay, I, uh, I get, we'll 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 uh, let's. I guess we'll go check it out. It'll only be a couple of minutes, I guess. Are we uh, are we supposed to be close to the town at this point? Or are we still supposed to be like a day away? Based on what um, Tana Musk said and the pace you guys have been going, you should be hitting at some point today. Okay. All right. So, to the wall. Uh, as you guys get closer, it doesn't take you too long because, like I said, it's not a super far distance. Um, and as you get closer, what seemed to be this small little like stony bump in the in the horizon, uh, you get closer and you see uh, it is in fact it is a wall. Um, uh, it's a uh, somewhat large wall, about about 15, 20 feet high, uh, thick stone cut. Um, and as you come up, you see that there is um, the outlines of a gate in the central area of the. Of it. Uh, welcome to Frostfollow. Huh. As you all get closer, so one of you waits a bit. You go, or are you? Are you 
waiting to check out the town more before going and getting the kids, or are you just, now that you've confirmed it's Frostfall, you're going to go get the kids? Uh, I think we should, think we should check it. it out a little more. Okay. Because we haven't seen so, any guards posted or anything like that. You're still you're still a little ways away. You're you're kind of like just close enough to realize, oh, those are walls and that's like a gate, but you're okay. not like right up you're not like right up against it. Okay, no. Big lady uh, definitely yeah. looks good with kids. I think we'll be okay to explore a little bit. Uh yeah. Oh I wanna keep can I wanna keep going until we either have some kind of conflict and or we find some kind of people okay. that you guys continue to travel forward towards the gate, uh, and as you do, one of the things that you notice as you close the gate itself, it it looks damaged, like uh -oh. like like it's been broken repeated times and then put built back together and then broken again and then at this point it's this like haphazard um, layer of broken stone and wood and steel and iron that's just kind of amassed itself. Um, off to one uh, into the the space of the gate itself. Um, the walls seem to be covered in scratch marks and pockets. Um, mm. uh, as you travel along the side up to you, see that there is actually there's a about a ten foot break in the wall mm. off to one side. And as you keep traveling around, is it uh, fresh? Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, because as you turn around the, as you get closer and you, and you towards the gate itself, all of a sudden three bolts <laughs> scream and land into the ground in front of you. About, uh, you guys are about maybe a hundred feet away from the wall or so at this point. Uh, and you look up and you see three humanoid bodies, I should say, um, at the top of the wall over the gate, um, all with some, either what seemed to be some sort of crossbow type weapon pointed at all of you. Uh, two of them reloading, and, the fr and, and one of them uh, po points at you and, s and just says, shouts out, Who goes there? Donar, you're the leader. <laughs> uh, Hail, uh, friends. What he uh, said. Uh, um, uh, what, well, business br what business brings you to our town? Uh, my name is Haruki. Um, um, we're a group of travelers coming from trost follow uh trost tallow uh we um we were having a uh we we come across two children who come from your town solva and silva do you know of them or are you missing children we're mis missing many people i know not of any two specific children well were you we... having kidnapping issues lately What is your business here? Well, we were, we were come sent to escort by... children. We took care of the kidnappers. They are dead. <laughs> Make a... Make a persuasion roll. With advantage, because it's true. Uh, not with advantage. Just okay. a straight roll. Oh, thank God, because I have a minus two. Um, that's a 17. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I hope. Mm. <laughs> you kind of see him, the crossbow lowers slightly. Still pointed at you, but like lowers a little bit. Two children, you say? Just two. Yes, the Light of Pelor has decided to find them and save them. And we are here to bring them to safety. I don't see them with you. No, well, we well, didn't we know the status sure of the safe. town, so. We were informed that no letters have been coming out recently, so I, we wanted to make sure it wasn't compromised. You have to understand our caution as well here. We'll you, will go go and you will go and fetch the children and bring them to the gate. When I can see them, my superior will come down to converse with you. You will not be let in until they say so. One of you will go and get the children. The rest of you will stay here. If you move, we'll shoot. Understood. Hmm. Uh, can two of us go so that they can each ride on a horse. One of you will go get the children. Okay. Who wants want me to, to go? go? I mean... I'll go. Okay. So, uh, I'll go, and I'm assuming there's not enough room on the elk for all three of us? I mean, they're small children, and it's an elk that's big enough to carry a dragonborn. There's also two other people 
guarding the children, so you're fine. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but Denara, not realizing that and forgetting that El Tor and Ezez are there, go for scoop the two kids up, place one in front of him in the lap, and holds the other one in, in his arms. Um, yeah. In a slightly uncomfortable position for himself, because he's now like balanced back and like <laughs> one hand on uh, El Tor and Ezez look at each other, extremely confused. Um, but ride back with you nonetheless. Um, the rest of you sit there, and it's a very tense uh, minute or two. Uh, as the crossbows, uh, they stay pointed at you the entire time. Um, so you two from around here? Okay. Remember, there's, about a there's a hundred feet of distance between you guys. <laughs> you, you two from around here? Silence. <laughs> um, Cronor, I, I mean, I believe there are guards to the town. I would assume they were... Listen, here. you gotta start with a little bit of the small talk. And Kurnor, you would you like up, some tea in the meantime? I'm afraid to move. Uh, if I'm gonna be honest with you, that's just... They look a little bit mean. I'm just gonna... Sit down, though. Okay, just sit right there. <laughs> I, so, you, so you get off your horse, and all three um, of them... <laughs> And you go and you sit down, and they're all just go. I go make for my water skin, slowly. <laughs> it's about this time that Dinar comes up with the children. Oh, gotta get back on the... Uh, just... Mm, okay, uh, I'm back on the horse. Yeah, it is quite no, impressive that you do that, being... On him. <laughs> <laughs> what? As, as small as you are, that is a feat to behold. He sir. keeps saying horse, it's a donkey. Uh, <laughs> it is a donkey, in fact. Huh. I did not notice it's, that before. Well, it's like a horse for me, okay? Anyway, but, um, as you can see, here, the children. Gotta yell a little louder. <clears throat> <clears throat> as you can see, good sirs, <laughs> the children... Stay where you are, Captain Ella will be down shortly. Do you recognize those Captain guards Ella. up there, girls? Why, the hey, uh, why is they shouting at us? Hey, no, uh, they Milan. just want to make sure that we are who we are. Okay. They're keeping guys, the town wait, safe. Guys, wait a, uh, a couple minutes or so, and um, uh, you see um, moving their way through uh, the, the rubble um, where the gate would be, kind of pushing their way through the what, whatever defensive um, implement they built into it, uh, a, a humanoid uh, female steps out. Um, she seems uh, medium build uh, in what looks to be uh, uh, dirty and, and uh, recently patched and broken again set of chainmail. Um, Walking towards with you guys purposely shield uh, on a, on her hand sword slung at the side, uh, sh uh, the bolt the three crossbowmen above her um, trained on you guys the entire time, uh, and as this uh, woman approaches you, you can see uh, she takes her helmet off and, and kind of holds it under her shoulder, and you see a uh, uh, female uh, humanoid with vague elven features um, to the eyes and ears. Um, kind of dirty strawberry blonde hair that's uh, kept very very close on the on the sides and then kind of pulled back in this very strict po uh, short ponytail um that goes down to just a, um, below her uh, her shoulder blades um it's kind of um, tied and braided to keep it out of the way she looks at you all i'm captain ella and i'm told that you guys are uh bringing back some children uh yeah, yes. we, uh... Do you got this, Haruki? Uh, I mean, uh, if it... I, yeah, I, I, I have it. I kind of, you know, come off the horse. Delegating. That's smart, Donna, that's smart. Um, good evening. Oops. Um, well, we seem to... It's morning here. Well, I'm, I apologize. It's, uh, long days on the road. You, you can understand. Um, so, we've been having, you know, these disappearances and... We came across these two um, children once dealing with the creatures that were causing said uh, disappearances, and they informed us that they came from 
frost follow, and that is as to why we are here. I also do believe there was some other business that Malin and maybe you guys know about. What type of creatures did you take these kids from? Um, uh, they they flew and they changed shapes and they went invisible. They have scales. She looks at you exceedingly untrustworthy, all realizing what you are all of a sudden, Dinar. Uh, did they have scales? I don't. I mean, they looked like demons to me. Yeah, they looked like demons. Well, guess we have another set of kidnappers to kill. You didn't answer my question there, Copper Top. Oh yeah, we uh, <clears throat> we were sent by Malin T Tana. Tana, Malin. I was really drunk. I believe Malin. he's. I believe he's AFK. Oh. Now. <clears throat> We were sent by, uh, Tana, Marsk, uh, mm. and she wanted us to investigate the disappearances that were happening around here. Make a persuasion check. With advantage. <laughs> Why is it you guys making the persuasion wow. checks, goddammit? <laughs> okay, okay. Very good first roll. Uh, bad second roll, so 26. 26. Natural 19. I know of Tana. Interesting that Andor would take an interest in our plight. Well. You got the kids. That's good. Do all right? They've been treating you okay? He goes, Yes, Captain, we're doing good. <laughs> One with the other one says, I braided the hair on the elk. Well, they seem no worse for the wear. Let them in! Three guards lower their crossbows. You'll have to uh, apologize all for the uh, state of affairs. You uh, come across our town at kind of a, uh, a dire streets, as it were. <clears throat> well, the right people are here. Um, I, do, I do hope. I do hope. My guards have been able to do it. I doubt you do any better, but we'll see. Follow me, please. We have the light of Pelo on us. Mm, I shuffle up by Cronor and I say, "Sorry, I zoned out for a second. What what happened?" Well, we were sitting here, just uh, me and Haruki, and we were talking. And uh, you know, I was sitting on the horse, and was getting a little stiff. Uh, okay, so Mal uh, Malin, no, just, <laughs> no, okay, the, the Who, town, which, the which town one seems of you was to be, getting listen, sick? listen, I don't understand. listen, listen, the, the town seemed to be under duress, they pulled high security, we, we, we brought the kids back, they understand they're gonna let us in and they're gonna tell us basically what's happening, but as you can see, their gate is battered, and they, this, this town is clearly under siege from something, I don't know what, because there happens to be a whole lot of fun things in your world other than bandits and people. You know, I'm not sure how I missed all that, but... <laughs> you know, bandits are people, too. No. Right, so as as Captainella leads you all past this uh, dilapidated truck to get a closer look, and it does look like the, the while most of the, um, the large doors that make up the gate are there, um, they are not attached by, by hinges anymore. They're held up by the various trash elements of scrap wood and iron and metal and anything that can be used to prop up as any type of defensive measure have been propped up on both sides. Uh, and as you see, uh, they're both kind of at an angle, almost like um, like this, um, at like kind of like a, a, a square Z type pattern. Um, and as she leads you through that the quick passage, you guys are put. Uh, um, as soon as you all in, very quickly, two additional guards at the bottom move uh, a heavy structure that fits somewhat well into the into that same space. Kind of shove it back into place, uh, and you see them moving other heavy stones and rocks behind it to kind of situate it. Um, we'll bring you to a <coughs> view of the town. Oh yeah. While. Um, so you guys were, were brought in from, uh, you guys would have been brought in from the western gate over on this side. Um, pay no attention to any of the names of the things, I just, 
I like the map and I like the layout of the town. Um, the names mean nothing. Um, however, uh, as you are, you walk through, you see uh, the streets are incredibly dirty. Um, mm. what, what used to be fine, and this is this is a town. This is a proper town. For those of you who are there, this is a little bit bigger than than Hart Hovel. Um, the there seem to be uh, more buildings, uh, uh, more structures. Uh, Hart Hovel itself did not have a defensive wall. That was a, that was a big thing of note. So the fact that this place has a wall around it uh, just kind of denotes the the size and stature of it compared to the area where you all began your adventure, or most of you, at least. Um, only one of you as it currently is. Um, <laughs> but you, you walk through and you see that um, uh, what used to be rather well-maintained, somewhat cobblestone in the streets, are marred with broken pieces of wood and glass and stone. Um, things seem to be hastily scraped up and moved to the sides as they can. Um, you see people walking around uh, trying to repair... Uh, whatever they can, homes, uh, carts, uh, barrels, um, several small fires are, you can see throughout the town. Um, it's, as, as you travel, she leads you closer to this, this large square structure in the center of town. Um, she says, uh, Captain Ella says, Mayor, Tal Mayor Tallstag's in there, she can give you a bit of what's going on I can. I've got to make sure my men. I've got to do my rounds. My men are watching out for any more of those scaly fuckers. Come back. If, uh, you can find those kids' parents. If you need help with that, let me know. One of my men can. One of my. One of my guards can certainly assist with that. That's. Uh, I can. I can do that for you all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Did you say scaly? Scaly you'll, fuckers. You'll find out. If you're here long enough. Um. So, back to a while ago. I wanted to know if the things were fresh like the marks or like while i'm oh passing. yes um as you're now because you have a better look at it um, i'll say make a perception check to see how much you can ah boy um seven seven um looks like it's gone for a while all right um the break in the wall <coughs> yeah that would have been like here-ish uh yes uh, a bit, a teeny bit more north, kind of like you see with the the, the, the triangle of those two paths come together. Ah, uh, yes, Shepherd's Crook. Like here? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right right around there. Um, it's not huge, it's only about a ten foot gap, but it is a break in the wall. Um, that was one of the things you noticed as you guys were coming down. Okay. Hmm. Um, but, uh, you guys are walking forward, um, and kind of, uh, Captain Ella kind of, uh, leaves you right as you get to the, the, the front of this square st uh, central structure here um and there are two guards that kind of give uh, a nod to, to the captain as she walks away uh one of the things that you all notice uh dinar you know you actually do take note of this oh wow um is that as you everyone's kind of giving you a like most of the people here seem to be um a metropolitan mix of humans half elf the occasional halfling and dwarf thrown in for good measure um Everyone that notices Dinar is giving him an extreme <laughs> look. Like more than when we were in Andor or Han. Like, like there is a look of venomance in it behind it. Before it was just more or less like, oh crap, that okay. This is more directed. <laughs> oh wow, I noticed that. That's. <laughs> You won't notice it because you almost you can like it's like the energy that you feel like this place yeah. has negative energy from them as much as you've noticed people's facial expressions. Um, but the two guards, um, they look at you, and um, one of them just says, "Mayor Mayor Tallstag is inside. Wait here while I uh, fetch the lawmaster." Um, and gone in a minute later uh an older woman human woman comes out um looks like she's in probably her mid 50s to 60s um long somewhat flowing silvery hair kind of comes down and flows past her shoulders um she seems to have a uh a, a, a thin leather choker around her neck uh, she seems and has uh, what seems to be uh, a greenish faded tunic um 
that goes down past kind of like as a half robe ensemble with a faded and battered set of leather and chain mail over a uh, chain shirt almost over the front of it she walks up with a very big like exasperated purpose like she's just been interrupted by something very very important being brought out here all right i don't know who the fuck are all of you uh we were sent by tana mars out in andor tana sent you yeah she hasn't heard from you in a while Malin, is that what the, the fuck are you doing guys coming in here come inside come come in why are you leaving them outside like this why didn't you come you're from tana come in come in uh the kind of the other two guards are like uh, uh, um and they lead you inside um to this um what you at this point tend to gather is the um town hall slash like stronghold of the of Frostfollow itself um you guys are let in uh to the main kind of what you normally used to be like a waiting area but now it seems to be a war room of sorts. Uh, there are discarded shields and swords clattered up, um, or I should say hung up on one side. Uh, there are barrels of what seems to be rations and other uh, supplies on the other, and in the middle is a, is a large wooden table uh, with several cups, lanterns, and pieces of paper strewn over it. Uh, you guys, uh, the, the, the lawmaster walks up, uh, spins around, comes with their arms crossed, and says, so, if, uh, if Tana sent you, that means that, uh, she, she must have finally gotten word of our little issue. I mean, all we know is that people are disappearing. I don't think you know that people are disappearing. Well, ain't that just the shortest fucking st <sighs> Well, I'll be blunt. Situation's right fucked. So, I hope you all are stronger than you look. I don't know what the fuck they are. I've never seen them before. No one past hundred winters or so. <clears throat> About three months ago, these things started attacking the walls. Uh, wild, savage creatures they were. Didn't really think nothing of it for a time. They were never able to get past any of our defenses. Uh, Captain Ella out there at the front, she was able to easily take care of whatever random skirmishes happened. Then it was uh, all of a sudden much more organized. They uh, waited until one night between guard changes. They all attacked one sp singular point. Uh, much more coordinated with better weaponry too, which was interesting. Blew that damn fucking hole in our wall that we got there then. Uh, now they just come and go as they please. Stealing people off in the middle of the night, men, women, children, doesn't really matter. Every morning, every night, we go fight these little ba these scaly bastards. And every morning, we burn what's left of whatever their bodies are here in the in the town. And the next night, more show up like we haven't done a fucking thing. What a... You say they're scaly, and I noticed the town. What, what are they? Well... Back to when I first said, well, I don't fucking know what they are. Okay, fair enough. Have you killed any of them? Every night? Well, there's gotta be bodies here. Aye, and if you were listening, apparently no one in your group fucking listens. I just said, we burn the bodies every night. <coughs> well, <coughs> so no one burned the ones from last look. night yet. I'm sure we're in the process of it, aye? Well, uh, before that happens, maybe we should inspect them. Who burns the bodies? Who's in charge of that? Who's ever left? Okay. Do they... I don't know. You could maybe go ask. Um, you could go ask Anton. <laughs> and who is Anton? He's one of the blacksmiths of the town. He's a good fellow. Weird facial hair. Um, but he's been managed to. He survived the past couple incursions. Uh, I might be using his forge for a likely spot to. Keep... You know, start a fire at least. Uh, you'll find him up in the north in the northern court uh, corner of town. Or I'm sorry, uh, eastern corner, eastern corner of town. Sorry, long fucking day, long fucking nights. So, do they just <clears throat> since the wall has that big hole in it? Do they go in through that now? Well, we thought, ah, yes, we'll shore that up. 
now they cl they go they burst through when they want they climb over the wall it sometimes they sometimes they appear right in the middle of the square so what do you do at night does everyone just come in here everyone boards up as best they could i can't fit everyone in here well I trust see... me i tried do they have a goal what are they doing are they going for something in particular yes. Strange as it fucking sounds, they don't take anything. They take people. <clears throat> Any specific group of people? Oh, so it's now your turn to not fucking listen. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure you're keeping your story straight. I'm sorry. Tana said she mentioned she sent somebody. Who are you all? <clears throat> <laughs> Well, I'm Dinar. <laughs> uh, my name is Haruki. My name is Khalil, and I come from uh, a place very far away. That's Malin, and he comes from prison. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> I am Kurnur, and I am... He's Paladin. also from prison, since we're... <laughs> That's true. I am a paladin of Paylor who was judged not for his character but for his appearance. Okay, that's Grenorty short. Look, all you Ooh, need wow. to know is that Ooh, wonderfully Tana optimistic, Mars aren't you? Entrusted us. Oh this yeah, time. these things pop up, we'll kill him. All right. And how do I know you're from Tana? You know her name, which is good. She give you any writ of seal, any proof that she sent you here? Crap, I was really drunk. She uh, she did. Yes. <laughs> Did she give it to you, or did she give it to Rethanir? Oh, I have no fucking idea. I was drunk. I'll be right back, and I go around the corner. You're in a building. Uh, is there a bathroom? What are you doing? Outdoor, did she give it to Malin or Rethanir? Go... Yeah, Malin gave her the key. I think Rethanir has it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying... Uh, I'd say this quietly to Dinar. Um... I'm gonna go use the bathroom, and I go to the bathroom. Why are you quiet? Can I tell me you're going to the bathroom? Okay, so you go around the corner and look can... for a, a chamber pot or a. No, uh... can I forge a copy of this letter? I mean, <laughs> that's gonna take time. Hmm. Like, like the se her seal? Could I? Do you have access to sealing wax and <laughs> just warm it up real quick in the bathroom and a flame? Again, you're, you're on the corner of like a hall. Like this is a yeah, big open hall. The bathroom. Um, <laughs> uh, Malin, Dinar, and Krenor make an investigation check on your persons. On on our. For you, if you're on your persons. Oh oh. Four. <laughs> Which makes sense because uh, she wouldn't give it to me. Well, Krenor. Mm, Nine. Seventeen. Okay, as you are desperately look around Malin to find something to forge this paper with, you pull out a, uh, you absolutely pull out a piece of paper and you go, oh, that's a really good impression of a seal. I could use that. I can make an impression. Wait, wait, what? Uh, <clears throat> I come outside. Everyone, I am done in the bathroom. I really hope you didn't just shit in my in my kitchen hallway because that's the that's the where you just went. Oh. Don't worry, it was number one. And I have, I well, as it were, speaking of breaking seals, I have a seal <laughs> to show you. She kind of holds her hand out. I hand it to her, and I say, don't worry, I washed my hands. I don't like you. She pulls a short knife out, and she kind of carefully carves the, uh, the seal open and reads it very quickly. All right, well, the adventuring party this um, apparently has been sent from the through the order of the council governed from the city of Andor to alleviate whatever disturbances has been disrupting trade between the town of Frostfollow and the city of. Uh, hope you're doing well, cuz please don't be dead. She always had a way with words. Well, at least I know you're here for the right fucking reasons. I'll be a bit more honest with you now. 
Truly, I don't know what these things are. No one, as I said, no one has seen the, any creatures like this or any description apart from you, your scaly, sir. But... It, they seem like snake people or something. They're fucking weird. They, oh. they, uh, some some of them can transform into, into serpentine beasts and back others of wicked blades or... Some look just like people, and all of a sudden they're not people anymore. They're they're monsters, right? They're opening the fucking gate up. Does we the had... sword kill them? I mean, I've I've seen them die to the sword. Yeah, I've killed a few with mine. Okay, I'm curious. You oh, said you've seen them transform between people and beast. Is it possible that any of them exist within the town? It's certainly possible. It would explain why. So so many can get in through the gates every night. But frankly, we're run ragged with manpower as it is. We can barely keep the the the, gar the walls gov uh, guarded and governed as they were. Do hmm. they only appear at night? Uh, mostly. Sometimes in the afternoon. Sometimes. Very, very rarely during the day. They seem to enjoy the dark. Doesn't seem to bother them or impede them at all. Okay. Um... I mean, we're here without knowing where to go to stop this. We might as well, uh, you know, help out at uh, night while we're doing our research. We, sh we should at least see what one of Let's... these attacks is <laughs> yeah. like. Malin, Spectrum. research, right? That's what we'll be doing? Yeah, we'll be doing some research. Okay, okay. Yeah, research. Okay. All right. Um, she says, well, if you're going to be here for a bit... The letter says I'm supposed to accommodate you for the time you're here. Y'all can have rooms over at the cackling cockatrice. And so, how are we on alcohol? Not... There's a like, hair of a smile on her face that just quickly vanishes when she remembers it's you who said it. They haven't been taking all of it, no, but there's not enough around to soothe my nerves. Hmm. I'm sure if you've got gold, they'll still provide for you there. Anything else you want, or do you want to get the fuck out of my office? <clears throat> if I could, um, trouble you, um, uh, and I... Haruki turns around from, like, entertaining the two kids in the side of the room. I? Um... Strange man. You wouldn't happen to know these two young ladies, would you? Ah, uh, yes, you found Tomlin's kids. You wouldn't know where Tomlin is staying. Uh, he also up in the north, in the eastern corner of town. Okay. So then we shall go there next and drop them off. Uh, him and Ke him and Ke Keela, should, they'll be they'll be happy to see their kids are alive. They got, they've been. Bemoaning my ear something fierce for the past couple nights. Desperately trying to get me to send some more fucking guards out to look for them. Saving the trouble and saving the guards. Well, where, what, what, just, what were they um, complaining about, if you don't mind me asking? just where... That I wouldn't send guards out to get their kids. No, no, I mean, I know that, obviously. But, I mean, were, you know, did they explain their situation to you? Did you say that, you know, they woke up one day and the kids were missing? Or were they out on the road and the kids were missing? Did well, they, they were on the road. They, they were on their way to Andor. Mm-hmm. And? And then they came back because they got ambushed by some fuck-off monstrosity in the woods and couldn't make it. Okay. Well, that, must that monstrosity is now dead, so... Delightful. Anyway. And I'm assuming you're the ones that did it. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, mostly me, but... Uh, uh, yeah. That's, there that's was fantastic. Help. I'm glad one monster is dead out of the horde of nightmares that has been flooding my town for the past month. Don't worry, they're next on the list. Hmm. <clears throat> well, it seems our time here is exhausted. I believe it's time to bid you adieu and head on our way. Adieu. Don't know what that means. It's Goodbye. He's from Asia. Oh, it's very far away. Well, where's Asia? I don't know Asia? what that word is. Oh. Kunar, you don't know what that word is either. I thought he said it already. No, hmm. not, not once. Not 
So it's not, the, the, not the even. The DM once. said it in a passing in a passing comment. He is for, regretting it ever since. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you all, um, uh, it's uh, easy. Ma <laughs> Mayor, one more question. <laughs> <sighs> yes. May I ask another question? I'm gonna ask it anyways. <laughs> Are there any merchants of a magical nature still residing in this area? I don't know. Go find out if they're alive or not. People have been fucking dead. I got other things to worry about. Ah, oh, you're a great mayor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Get out to my office. <laughs> Malin, come on. As I said, we were overdue for an exit. Yep. <laughs> All right, Zonar, let's go research. Hold on. Hold, well, let's leave, but don't know while we're walking out. You know, <clears throat> um, it's going to be a problem with you around here, and I once heard if you can't see them, they can't see you. And then I'm going to cast blindness on him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> what's the saving throw? Uh, uh, it's my Svefernivlin magics. Is, is so it, it means is it intelligence. Wisdom? Intelligence, okay. Okay, intelligence saving throw? Yeah. Uh, 18. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, DM. Yes? With disguise kits, could I use it on other people? Like, uh, with, with time, yeah. Okay. I'm going to take these girls back. I'm not. I, I mean, mean, if if you're trying to make Dinar look not dragonborn. No, no, like just like cloak him up a bit so he just looks like a a vagabond, but add a mustache, like very I mean... cloak, like hood <laughs> up, cloak, like he's just a large man. I mean, you like... definitely you definitely could do that. Yeah, um, I would say it would take probably you'd have to like convince Dinar to step aside for a couple minutes to. You know, or a little bit to uh yeah but it's possible it's definitely possible Denar, do you can you spare a few minutes to make our travels through town a bit easier i think we should make you a little less uh conspicuous no no i really think you should no i'm bringing these two girls back exactly as i am and Denar, how would you feel if these two girls were attacked for associating with a man as scaly as you. They won't be attacked. Mm -hmm. And why do you say that? I just glare at him. It's not like I'm attacking them. Just saying someone might. I, I understand where you're coming <laughs> from, Malin, but uh, I don't think it's very necessary. And it would do the people some good to see um, Dinar here helping them out. You know what? It may show you. are right, Haruki. And I'm gonna disguise self, and I want to be a little scaly dragon. <laughs> Before, uh, what color do you turn your scales? Hmm, what colors? What colors, Donar? Donar bronze. is bronze. I thought you were copper. I'm sorry. Uh, lightning. I'm pretty sure that's bronze. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, I think that's under racial. Can I be a blue-eyed white yeah. dragon? <sighs> you. So, Dinar, you look God, over Dragon. and you see all of a sudden Kronor is no longer the small gnomish figure that has been just enamoring the fuck out of you. Um, instead, you now see a crystal blue-eyed, white, <laughs> tiny dragonborn. So just to make sure, I'm talking to Malin, I turn around and I see a white dragon behind me. Not a white dragon, you see a tiny... Um, Krenor sized white dragonborn. Okay, but I that turn sound, around and that, see that? That, talk, that talks and sounds like Krenor. Holy shit, and I punch it! <laughs> what? <laughs> Roll to attack. <sighs> uh, all I do is add strength to that. Uh, correct. No proficiency? I don't know, I, I don't do unarmed. I, don't, I have no idea how this works. Um. <laughs> Look, I rolled a natural five, I don't think I'm hitting. I don't think you do. <laughs> you're not so proficient. You, you go and you, you go, holy shit! <laughs> and Kronari, oh. um, for someone as as into their winter years as you are, uh, you definitely just kind of whoa, dodge out of the way. I like to cast my dragon breath. You don't hey! have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I... This it world It smells is... like garlic, which is weird because you haven't had food for months. This... I just let out a toot. Uh... Ooh. I... <laughs> That's my... Oh, really released the dragon's breath there. Okay, come on, kids. Let's kids. move. Hurry up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm already... Oh, shit, Kronor, is that you? Moving. Of course it's me, Donar. All right. We're well, gonna make him that... judge us told... by our character and not the scales or color of us. We're gonna show them all. Kronor. Literally, the mayor just said that scaly things pop up out of the ground. I turn around and see a scaly thing. Well, you know what? You shouldn't be so quick to judge either. <laughs> I, I go to bring the girls back. Okay, Can I ride uh, on your shoulder? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Pick him up so you, on have, you now have a pygmy dragonborn sitting on your shoulder. <laughs> What the fuck has this game turned into? <laughs> you all, um, it's easy enough to ask the twins where their where their home is located to. Um, you bring them there. Uh, the parents are overjoyed. Um, you see um, two two uh, I'd say younger humans in like probably their mid thirties, late forties, um, and uh, they they rush over. They embrace the children. Uh, and a, some, there's a there's a tearful exchange, uh, which the kids don't understand why. Because ever since they they've they've walked out of the bad dream, they've been having a great time. Um, Haruki has made sure to see that. Um, and um, the 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 man comes over and he offers you um, what he says the the little money they've been able to. Uh, shy away which amounts to about 35 gold pieces no we're no. not accepting it no no good sir says the pygmy on top of donar <laughs> which he's not really looking at donar but when you say that he like is forced to and there's like this like instinctual like r revelation that quickly he like controls and feels like you can see he feels a little bit ashamed that we it. come we come in the light of paylor payment is not needed do not pay any of us and i look at malin uh, it's, yeah, it's, you're felt absolutely, please don't take anything else. Talk just you. like Haruki, you know? Is that like a dialect? What is that supposed to mean? What just are you like talking a... about? I sound from the frontier of Kurtzfeldt. I don't sound I anything know. like him. Well, yeah, they don't sound <laughs> similar at all, Kronor. Uh, you know anyway, what? I'm just... No, <laughs> sir, we appreciate, we appreciate the gesture, but... I appreciate you You're... bringing my children back alive. Please take the strange talking skill to sing it. No, yes, okay, come on, let's go, come on. Uh, can you can you point us to Anton? Ah, uh, yeah, oh, An yes, Anton. He is, uh, I believe he uh, is uh, over by the, uh, the, the northeastern gate. Uh, his forge is back there, I believe they're using it um, to get rid of uh, the last night's uh, incursions, as it were. Um, but please, and he goes and he holds a hand out to you, Dinar. Um, in what you can gather is in a, uh, his way of trying to make up for his initial reaction to seeing you. I stretch my hand out. He is not making eye contact with you. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I grasp it. Okay. Uh, thank you. For... Gently? Like, I don't want to hurt him. Yeah, of course. Thank you for bringing my kids back. It's good to know that even if we... Dark times in, in the town, we at least will be together. Um, speaking of which, yes, these incursions happen every night, right? Most nights, not every night. Okay. If, uh, if something happens to you, or if you feel threatened, uh, I don't know, guys, should he come try to find us? Should, they, do you guys have like a, something, uh, like a big noise? I think it would probably be best to barricade themselves in their home. True. I mean, true. we do that, we do do that every night. Oh, well, you have weapons and such, correct? Uh, we are not fighters, we just make sure the doors are barred and gated and locked and... You there should are probably... I don't know how to... Prepare for the but, worst. Uh, all due respect, sir, uh, I, neither of us know how to swing a sword. Well, well... Okay, well, we no one will be truly here. does until they need to in the moment. Okay, we will be you know here. Um, <laughs> we will be around town at the very least the next couple of days. Uh, if we're nearby, let us know. Okay, um, hmm. you guys are, are you staying in the, in the town somewhere? Are you camping outside the town? 
Uh, something cockatrice. The cocking cockatrice. The cackling cockatrice. The cackling cockatrice. The cackling cockatrice. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, that is actually, uh, is in the uh, the corner south of here. That is not very far. Okay. Um, so just go slow. Remember, everyone's got a plan until they got a sword in their face. Thank you for that wonderful metaphor in, in my head. Uh, I'm going to go look after my family now. Yep, I would highly yeah. recommend investing in a sword to do so. Okay, let's go to Anton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I the sensible one. Oh, How are yeah. you going to fuck this one up, guys? This is, God this damn is, it. This is hard. Man, Rethanir, Rethanir left a big void for you guys to fill. <laughs> Rethanir and Eltor both. Uh, it's not Ezioz. Ezioz wasn't a talker. So it's it's not very far, and, and um, he, uh, Tommen points you in a in a general direction, and it's the thing he points out is the oily black smoke to the far northeastern corner that he leads you all to. Um, and there you see, um, what seems to be the the remnants of the latest uh, attack on the town. You see. Uh, there is uh, uh, one group up on the wall itself seem to like try to scrub off what seems to be some dark and crimson splashes or marks on the wall. Um, you see one group that is uh, seeming to sorting through a pile uh, of what looks to be bodies. Um, certain corpses they seem to be picking up rather gently and reverently and moving two to a body off to the side and Others, they seem to just be grabbing and throwing haphazardly off to another group that are picking them up and carrying them over to what seems to be a um, a, uh, uh, a pile, a burning pyre. Um, tended to by a, uh, looks to be a human, um, bald on top, uh, long, long, flowing, bushy mustache, that goes like handlebar style and then seems to grow past like like down past his chin almost reaching down to his uh his his uh, collarbone down here um dark kind of inset eyes uh serious face uh large leather smock on and he seems to be um as these bodies are being brought over he seems to uh with little effort pick up these um, these corpses with his two hands and throwing them into different locations. Uh, and occasionally looking over and pointing out his finger telling people to you know, saying no, not that one over there. You bring that one over here, not over there. Go, pile that you see the scales on that one? That is not the one that goes to be buried. We bring this one over here. You know that. <clears throat> what we? Who are you lot? What are you doing here? <clears throat> You here uh, to work? I can't put you to work. Here, help uh, these people I, move these bodies over here. I presume you're an Ironton, good sir. Yes, I'm Anton. Uh, I extend my hand. My name is Haruki. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Kind of stands there with his hands on his hips. Um, we come from Andor, and we're here to uh, aid you in your um, lizard problem. Ah. So you're the people that um, that uh, Mayor Tolstag was talking about, saying that she was going to go pull some family fancy connection. It's good to see that her word pull through. Jeez. Yes, my name is Anton Pizakar. Uh, and he goes in, now he goes over to shake your hand that has been awkwardly out this entire time. <laughs> oh, you're not bowing. <clears throat> I mean, well, is is it to bow, is bowing more customary? I don't know how you. We're not from the Mesca. We don't do bows or fancy flowery shit like that. Huh? So there are people who bow. Huh? Go figure. Anyway, um. You are a strange you... person. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. <laughs> do you mind tossing us one of those bodies real quick? Oh, that didn't. Um. You have a very cavalier attitude when it comes to death, my. Sir. I, well, you know, uh... With respect, these are people of the town. We treat them with respect. I'm not going to toss you... No, 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 not your... not your townsfolk. The... <laughs> your... the scaly... kind. Ah. Yeah, I... We... What do you need with a... with one of the... the scaled fuckers? Well, we want to make sure what we're 
going up against, so if you could give us a couple moments to uh, inspect one of these things. You're going to want to fight these things? What? Wait, what? Come again? I couldn't hear you. You want to fight these things? Fight. To fight them? To kill them? That's what yes, we're to here fight, to do? Yes, to fight, to hurt, to kill. Yes. <laughs> well, I hope you're impressive people because we've been fighting them for months and nothing seems to be happening. Ah, uh, but have you, have, you have, you have you looked at the corpses? Do they have any weaknesses? That's what we're trying to discern here, my good sir. I don't want to just stare at the body and watch it decompose. I... Do, with due respect, do not insult my intelligence. I understand what you're trying to do. Ah, uh, well then why are you fighting me on this? I just think it's strange is all. It's okay. We'll we'll laugh about this later and drink some tea over it. <laughs> I will give you a bottle if you don't make me drink tea. Not a make tea person, huh? Tea. I do make, make some, some good tea. Make some good tea. All right, guys, good tea. He looks at you with this look of horror and revulsion as as your white, um, tiny like. You know the thing that um, laughs in Jabba the Hutt that kind of sits like. Kernard, <laughs> <laughs> do you mind? Could you? And then, not... well, as he looks at me in horror, I'm gonna look at him in horror, and I'm gonna say, <laughs> "Oh, what's that crawling on your face? Look at that giant hairy thing." Can <laughs> Anton? Man, look at can me. you do something about him? Maybe you shouldn't judge people by how they look. Doesn't that, doesn't that catch fire in the forge? I, I'm gonna take I'm sorry. off of my shoulder. <laughs> I'm more than how I look. Excuse me. I, and I'm starting to look up. I'm more than just... <laughs> I, I uh, look <laughs> Krenor in the eyes and I say, Do you think this is what Pelor would want? <laughs> hmm. I think... I think you should contemplate this in silence for a moment. Come back <laughs> I am the man of Pelor, and you, you are not. Excuse, However, excuse me, little, excuse me, little man. Yes, sir, whatever I am you a man are. Of Pelor. That's wonderful. I don't mean to be singularly offensive, but I've watched my friends get cut up to pieces by them. I've seen their wives and their children be taken by these things. So forgive me if I'm a little trepidatious about somebody who walks in looking like one. They look just like this. One of them does. Have Before. we seen the bodies? Uh, Kunor, I would uh, suggest you to undo whatever fuckery you have done to look like that, and uh, maybe all this will diffuse, and if not, it could probably diffuse over a couple cups of ale later on, but we do w want to inspect one of these creatures' bodies, just to make sure that it we... Get to you out of my, if it will get you out of my face, yes, could absolutely. Be as, as, as many as you want. as possible in right. eliminating them, good I'm sir. I'm gonna undo. I'm undoing, uh, this guy's self. <laughs> I thought it'd be taller. Sorry to disappoint you. Please, take whatever ones you want. If you find out anything, please let Captain Ellil know. The guards are run thin. I don't know where these things come from, but what forever it's worth, their numbers, no matter how many kill, seem to never lessen. Oh, Anton, a quick yes. question. You're, are you very close to the guards in this town? I supply them their weapons. I repair their armor. Have any of the guards acted differently or strange since the attack started like like almost as if they weren't themselves he gives you a narrow gaze make a persuasion check he's kind of on edge with a lot of you you guys didn't exactly have the most um, positive interactions with him initially <laughs> 22 his eyes soften ever so slightly no, I don't think any of them have been acting different, so to speak. Hmm. Galen it's... was was odd for a while. Then they found him. One night they found his body in the ground, or on the floor of the barracks, and something that looked just like him unlocking the, do the gates moments later. Uh, we killed that one, at least. <laughs> Ever since then, the guards have been much more scrutinous. Hmm. 
with their ilk. Well, if I can uh, take a long rest, I can perhaps get a spell on that can reveal such magics. But I'd need to rest to do that. That sounds amazing. Do you want one of the bodies or not? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. We'll take it. Okay. Uh, Boris, Koskev, bring that one over here. Um, <clears throat> a follow-up question. I noticed you were s separating the bodies to different pyres. Oh Why do you do that? Oh my lord, are you serious? Well, these ones we are not burning. These ones are getting buried uh, properly outside the city. Uh, these are the people that live here. These are the skilled fuckers that tried to kill them, and then did kill them and kidnap others. So they don't get the place. But they don't get to get buried. They get to get burnt. Uh, okay. You said you fought these things. Couple nights, yes. Okay. Uh, how many different scale colors do they have? A bunch or like one? The um, looks at you, the king. Uh, some of them are. Uh, rather exotic colored really uh some are most of them are a kind of a, a... I mean, it's dark out it's tough to say but yeah. um i'm gonna have him roll to see how much he remembers and discern okay not bad uh most of them are kind of a dull green with a yellow belly you see in the morning some are darker with a more blue or purple tint do they use any magic that you've seen? Uh, some transform into different types of snaky beasts. But they some... don't breathe out anything? Not that I've seen, no. Okay. Um, and one, or two, one or two have been able to warp some type of darkness. One or two have invaded minds of people before. They're rather cruel in their... Ruthlessly inefficient sometimes with their practices. And a, and a sword kills all of them. Uh, to, uh, well, we, we're all not sure. Seen? All that they've seen, but again, that is also why we burn the bodies. Okay. We make sure it is the first thing we do after any type of incursion. We don't want to take any risks. Uh, when do these incursions usually start? Uh, it's been somewhat random. Uh, usually always after, you know, afternoon, after the mm -hmm. latter half of the day or the night. Um, Never twice in a day, or never twice in a row. And, hmm. uh, when, so when does the incursion last until, until dawn? It depends really on the, they've been different sizes. Okay. Um, they've been getting much smart, smarter, uh, recently, uh, attacking different sides of the wall. Um, uh, it's, uh, having multiple gates be unlocked. Uh, we found, um, no tunnels quite yet. Um, that is, uh, I know the mayor's greatest fear. Um, okay. We, we have no way to really to defend against that. We, we are not a very magically influenced town. Um, uh, if I might ask, do you have a library in this town? Uh, we don't have a library, so to speak. But if you talk to the mayor, you can see any books she might have up in the keep. Uh, the keep there. And are there any um, arcane-focused people in this town? Uh, there was Julius. I don't know if he's alive in the. Um, he was over in the 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 western corner, the south or the southwestern corner. Um, no, southeastern. I can't get my fucking directions correct. Um, south uh, in the southeastern corner. Uh, he ran the general shop, but he also knew a thing or two about magic. I don't know if he's still alive or not, but his shop is down in that in that area. Um, we got, we got along just fine. And last question from me. When you say that you fought the past couple of nights or a couple of nights, are you generally in your sh in your forge when they show up and you just fight? Or do you hole up in the middle of town and go to where you're needed? Um, those who can fight or are willing to fight uh, report to the guards um, at the end of every workday. Uh, and we are stationed where the Captain Ella and Mel Trost, uh, uh, Miss Tolstag thinks uh, are the places that need defending the most. Okay. Um, most of the townspeople, at least in this square, uh, go over to the cackling cockatrice. 
uh, at least there, uh, anybody who cannot have, uh, is not able to stay in, in their homes on their own or do not have homes anymore, go over there. They've been providing uh, most of the basement space out to uh, for people who are out of homes. Uh, although I fear that if this keeps up, we're going to have to move into other quarters soon. Okay. Hmm. Is there a direction in which they seem to be dragging people off? Not that I've seen. I stay on this side of the wall. Okay, then we will see you tonight. Uh, can we make like an investigation check of one of the bodies to see if we can discern anything? Uh, this would be more of a medicine check. Ah. Let me do that. Let me handle this one. Can I check the body for any sort of like <laughs> crest or like uh, something right, that we're, I we're, we're, we're gonna go through this sequentially, okay? Yeah. Can I assist Grenor to give him disadvantage? <laughs> Shh. Okay. So we're gonna, uh, they bring before you two bodies. Uh, one that was on the way to the pyre and one that they pulled off the pyre. Like, so one is partially charred and burnt away. The other is, um, uh, covered and matted in blood and dirt. And one of the first things you realize, uh, Krenor, uh, Dinar, you recognize this is not a dragonborn. Uh, the scales are much more rounded in shape, the neck serpentine and long, uh, the face much more oval, or one actually one face is much more oval, the other much more angular, um, almost like a snake's head. Um, the eyes over slightly oversized with uh, slitted pupils, um, they both seem to be vaguely humanoid in shape. Um, the one that is partially burned, uh, well, we'll get to that with the medicine check. So, Krenor, uh, make, please, make a medicine check. If Dinar is helping you, he, you can help him advantage, or you guys can I'm do separate balls. Okay, so, Krenor, make a medicine check. You're not helping? Okay. Uh, I don't, uh, Dinar helping would be bad. Alright, 19. 19. Alright, so this is what you're able to discern. Um, medicine. Okay. Um... Both of these bodies died to various stab wounds. Um, stabs and slashes, multiples of both. Um, they seem very muscular um, underneath all of the scales. The scales themselves are somewhat thick. Uh, they both seem to be in various... Um, the one that was not burned does seem to have some sort of rudimentary um, leather and chain armor on it. Um, uh, what seems to be very, very old, burnished bronze um, wristlets um, but you can tell as you as you pry the mouth open you the the serpentine features of this body become super apparent as you see rows of sharp fangs with two long ones in the front uh, a, a thin forked tongue that rolls out to the side um, uh, the second one that is partially burned you noticed uh, has much less um, while still a somewhat triangular head, the features almost seem to be halfway stuck between a tree, where a part of the face seems much more humanoid, um, apart from the one eye that seems to be stuck in the cat-like uh, vertical pupil of a of a snake. The side that is somewhat burned and charred away, you see the skull seems to be halfway through changing back into whatever um, snake-like true form this entity had. Can I ask you specific questions on this? Uh, yes. Um, what are its weapons? Uh, there are no weapons on the body. How did, can I tell? Does it have claws? Just teeth? Um, let me let me look up something really quick. Because you didn't get a bad roll. Is there a, a picture? I could use that. Well, you don't know a type of mm. one thing. We're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get to that. Just hold on. I I don't worry. No, no, I'm not. I'm just. I'm gonna have questions. That's all. Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. <laughs> just a Google, just a Google search. Of... No. I literally. I thought the same exact thing. <laughs> I literally thought that. Are there any weapons? Yes, it has a laser rifle. <laughs> there is. Yeah. For some reason, every single one of them has an antimatter rifle. Huh. <laughs> the town is well, just destroyed instantly. Look, when you were explaining it, that's the first yes. thing that came to mind. <laughs> Me too. Exactly. Um, and I know it's not it, so don't worry. <laughs> you don't know that. That's true, I don't. <laughs> so, the, it, uh, it doesn't seem to have... Uh, it has uh, 
humanoid hands, opposable thumbs, five fingers, the whole... Um, it does, but seems to have some sort of rudimentary claws, but they're much more blunted. Um, they don't seem to be something that would be, based on that roll you got, that's not something that would be particularly um, affected. Okay. Uh, one of the other things you do notice, though, on the other body, is that while the head is mostly humanoid, apart from the slit, you look down at the arm, and you see that the one arm that isn't burned isn't amongst the hand that's there there seems to be about six or seven snake bodies that are growing out what of the arms some seem to be cut off some seem to not the but you fuck? okay um <laughs> sorry guys next question is it venomous can i tell Based on that role, it's tough to say. Um, based, I'll say based on that role. I can make, make, I... make, make a nature check. Okay, I was gonna like tap its tooth and see if something came out and stuff like that. Make make a nature check. Okay. Malin, we're gonna get to you, Malin. I I haven't forgotten. Don't oh worry. no, no worries. Yeah, sorry guys. Ten. Ten. Um, you know that in in the natural world, um. <clears throat> regular snakes um venomous snakes typically have a triangular head because uh the venom glands in the side of their skulls um poke out more um so the skull is kind of adept around that to protect them so they have much more of a triangular um wedge type head whereas non-venomous snakes have a much more rounder somewhat oval spoon shaped head um based on that knowledge you can assume that the one with the bowl shape the, the the more oval head is if it's following any type of natural laws are probably not venomous okay while i'm doing this i'm imagining i'm like doing like the witcher inspection where i click the option it's like mm, been dead this many days or yeah, whatever he's, he's been talking to himself and it's very yeah it's very <coughs> does yeah. he do this all venomous. the time <laughs> oh this is the first time we're seeing he's it. having an episode i think yeah. mm. um because uh we're gonna come back to you, um, Malin. Okay. What were you What were you looking for? I was looking for any sort of like crest or something that would show its allegiance. I guess. Okay. Right. Make um, make an investigation check. So we'll say this is happening while body. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. All oh right. Oh my god. So. Um, you don't find anything on the burned body. Um, it seems that anything that would have been any type of, like, distinct or noticeable, um, trait or mark or, or, or banner has been, if there was one, has been destroyed. Uh, on the body that, um, Kronor has been, in, um, inspecting, the, the, the one that seems, that didn't make it to the pile yet, uh, you find two things of note. Uh... One is a splash of what looks to be a, a diagonal white streak across the scales and armor on the front side. Um, the white then seemingly marred with some other color, either if it's been scratched through or intentionally, either through um, scuffle or if it's intentionally been made to be broken and scarred. Uh, and you also find um, on its upper... Uh, arm a small band that uh, is kind of it, it, it's like it's like a like an armband and uh, on it is a small of cloth um, that is um, scarred through on the side one side is silver and the other side is white uh, what languages do you speak Okay, let me check that. Where is that in D and D Beyond? Uh, uh, on bottom left, under proficiencies and languages, it is the bottom most. Okay, I I speak Abyssal, Common, Elvish, and Primordial. Okay. Okay. Um. You don't. There, there is a word, a phrase, going between the two colors. You don't recognize the language. But you do, based on that role, recognize that it has some abyssal in common. 
and then and something else that you that you can't recognize. Okay. Under common? Uh, it's not under common, no. Sorry, you something like cut out while you were saying that? The the language of whatever is written on this banner that this thing is wearing. Uh it mm -hmm. seems to be based on on three languages, abyssal, common, and then a language you don't recognize. Okay. Quick, everyone, say your languages. I'm kidding. Um, he points this out to the rest of you. Yeah, he okay. points it out. Yeah. Well, do then, do I know. Recognize whatever this is. Uh, Dinar, you recognize it as Draconic. It's Draconic. And, and common, it... there's some common in there, too. Is there a way that we could pull together our knowledge to decipher this? I'll say between you and you and Malin, uh, you can both either make separate intelligence checks or give one advantage. I will try to help him. All right, so Malin, <laughs> make an intelligence check with advantage. Just a straight intelligence check. Oh, we have the same intelligence. Mm. So, all right. What uh, do you do? You have any modifier next to intelligence? Nope. Okay. Right, well, fifteen still enough. Uh, you're able to piece together. Um, it the phrase reads, "The second scaled." Hmm. Zanar, do you know anything about a group called the Second Scaled? I don't think I do. Um, it's an interesting name, but I don't know. Um, what's the third language in there, Malin? Uh, it's a mixture of uh, a, a abyssal mm -hmm. and uh, common, and uh, a third one. I guess you you pointed out was draconic. Is Abyssal generally spoken by demons, really? Or is it like in the demonic Um field? I believe I believe both demons and uh, it's a more of a fiendish language for you. So stuff that I hate, got it. I mean, regardless, oh, it is boy. a it is a language of fiendish. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um do you guys want me to check if uh there's any magic? on them huh it wouldn't hurt i mean they could shift forms maybe there's some latent uh okay so it, this is a, a distinction that you would know dinar yeah um abyssal is spoken um <clears throat> by um entities with connection to the abyss so okay. the, realm, the realm of demons okay as opposed to the hells as opposed to the dying hells of Bator, which speak right. infernal. Okay. And um, again, b both Kernor and Dinar would know that. Nope. I. Uh, do, do. I can continue my inspection. Yeah, and when he's done, I'll do detect magic. Okay. Um, Kernor, based on all of this information that you've gathered so far, unless you had any other questions. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Come. I haven't found any indication of how they attack. Is um, Anton still nearby or no? Anton has gone back to um, moving bot, moving, throwing bodies in the pyre, helping direct people. Is there like a guard or somebody who's like wandering close around by us so that we can call over? I mean, there's a couple people. I kind of shout out to a couple of them and ask them to come over. I. About two or three come over. Ah, um, uh, yes. What, what do you want? Good day. Um, we're just um trying to learn more about the enemy that besieges this town. Can you um? Have you seen them fight? Do you know what weapons? Do they use swords, maces, shields, bows? What? Can you give us a little more information? Go ask one of the guards or Anton. I stay in my house. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Haruki, did you ever we'll, think we'll that? Later. Did you ever think that if you picked up a weapon, that maybe you'd Haruki. be able to help? Haruki, the angers I've ever seen. I, I don't know who you are, sir, but uh, I make barrels for a living. 
Nothing, but even in my village, the bar barrel maker would be r willing to put down his life in a moment to save anybody else of the village, but clearly this is not the place. You may go. Sir, I thank you for your barrels. Haruki, it's our job to protect them. <clears throat> you hear them walking around with this fucking hoity-toity over there. Uh, Anton comes over. Uh, yes, is there something you needed? Someone was, someone, someone was shouting for me? Oh, uh, yes, I have... Uh... Apologies, Anton. Uh, you've seen them fight before. What kind of weapons do they wield? Are they are they shoddily craft weapons? Are they maces, swords, shields? What kind of armor do they come in? Most of them come in a... Uh, spears? Yeah, some, not really spears. Um, these uh, curved swords of sorts. Um, swear to God. <laughs> I will add so many hit points to all of them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it, but okay. Um, uh, some with uh, we have found uh, some some of our comrades with uh, arrows in them. Hmm. Uh, others with blackened veins. Um, it's a rather treacherous anomaly. They they know how to either use or make weapons of steel, hmm. of metal. Hmm. Uh, they are they are they they communicate. They are coordinated they plan they are smart they are not feral beasts as we thought they were the first couple times uh -oh. Anton have you ever heard of a group called the second skills uh, I have not no why it seems that that's the contingent that you're facing against it seems like they're an organized group well, I'm, I'm very glad said. they have a name that means that's <sighs> The law master should know that. Oi, uh, Koske, put that one down. You've been doing enough work. Go tell the... You, go tell the lawmaker we have news. Bring this to her, tell her, and... She tells him to go off and mention that. Have you seen them weaker to anything? Magical, perhaps? Different types of damage? We don't have any spellcasters. Like I said, maybe Julius, but I haven't seen him. Mm hmm Alright. We are, are we are closer to the frontier than we are not. You don't meet many of the uh, arcane influenced regularly out here, at least. Generally, there are people like you going around doing things for coin, killing things. I am a man of Pelor. Uh, never mind. I picked I, up on that. Yes. I audibly gasp. <laughs> Okay. That's all I had. Um, I don't know about you lot, uh, but I feel like um we've learned a lot. Should we go, we go report to the report mayor? To the mayor. Uh, uh, just one second. Uh, I'm gonna cast detect magic. Okay. Um, just to see if there's any sort of magic on them, in them, between them. I don't know. In me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, make make a general. Spell casting ability check. Ooh, spell casting ability check. Uh, thirteen. Okay. Uh, so you you cast detect magic. Um. Uh, apart from the various blips on your on your mm -hmm. arcane radar that come from members of the party, uh, you don't get any. Okay. Just to make sure, no proficiency, right? It's just my. It's just whatever whatever your spell casting modifier is. Just wanted to make sure I. Yeah. Right. Um, so, um, Krenor, based on your investigations, um, I would like you to make. I would like you to make a religion check, and I'd like anybody who is proficient in history to make a history check. Fuck. Um, am I proficient in history? <laughs> well, I am not. Five. High five. Malin? You rolled a two. Nope, not me. Okay. Knorr. Um, in your studies, um, in your wandering, uh, you have heard of an ancient race, a species, uh, that nearly ruled 
um, the northern continent almost to extinction of all of all other sentient life, um, uh, known as um, the Yonti. Uh huh. A, uh, a race of uh, snake god worshipping entities um, that uh, were bent to on the subjugation and elimination of everything else. Um, it's like a... You also know um, that supposedly they were wiped out uh, in the last age and none have been seen in hundreds of years. Okay. Well, guys, we're fighting an ancient race of lizard people known as the Yonchi. Yeah. They haven't been seen in hundreds of years. Oh, that was a rush. Sorry, I just remembered all that. Uh, <laughs> is Anton still there? He's around. Okay. Uh, hey, Anton. Uh, when did these attacks start? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, about maybe, uh... Three, four months ago. And that was before we got rid of the mist? Uh, yes. Start playing this music. And that was also after the mist had originally started. Make it in. I'll give this to you. Make a history or, or, or intelligence check, whichever is high. History or just straight intelligence? History is higher. <laughs> All right. See how much you can remember. Uh, 22. 22. Okay. You remember with the conversation with Tannis Nightwater, or her half-spirit trapped in the, in the cave, um, that uh, after Zandal stole the Fallen Flame, uh, and she was cursed to this half-existence between the dead, uh, there were two other members of their party. Oh shit, yeah. Uh, Beric Ungart, mm -hmm. a, uh, a dwarven cleric whose uh, whereabouts are unknown, and Nadar Noxus. Who's to the west? Um, or prison or something. Look, I, I have my notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, who uh, became unstable after the, uh, the incident and left the city. Um, it should say t traveled to the east, not west. No, I, I didn't see. I wrote about it. He was freed from a dragonborn prison to the west. Yes. Yeah. No, that that's yeah. That's what I. I also completely butchered their names. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, okay. So, Nadar Noxus went to the east. Traveled east. And back to dark. We know nothing about. And has has never presumably never been heard from again. Okay. If a man uh, dies in a forest. But I don't know with uh, Zandal's entire um, I guess cer ceremony, stealing of the flame, that was more than four months ago, or was it around the same time as it started <clears throat> happening? That happened about six months ago. Wait, which and one? Went to, okay. So, if if if, because you rolled high, Gotcha. Um, you would be able to piece together that the events, the attacks here started a couple months after the mist started to take hold of um, the, uh, the Green Shade Forest. Okay. Um, I don't react yet. Once we say goodbye to Anton and we start walking... And the sudden realization finally, like, hits me. I stop, and I, like, crack my knuckles and say, Well, I guess my job isn't done yet. <laughs> and I look over at El Tor and Ezias. Wait, uh, El Tor goes, What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, uh, and I tell them all the stuff that I just realized. <laughs> well, I don't, what does any of that mean? Okay, um... Flame? Quick recap. What? Yeah, quick recap. There was a green mist. By the mist? way, this is going to be a Dinar recap. Um, <laughs> there was a green mist. Some uh -huh. guys 
flame. Flame. We died. So he took a death torch. You back. died. You came back. Yeah. yeah I died. I came back. Okay. No, this no, is relatable. No, no, no. I, no. Okay. Well, I'm talking about. Okay. Whatever. I'm talking about okay, me. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Um, we died. Came back. Uh. -huh. Turned out the ruler of Andor, um, some I don't know, angel guy, uh, Zandal. He uh, he stole flame from death. So we killed him and gave Death his flame back, which is how I got this necklace, I think. And I died and came back. And there was a ceremony, and one of those guys came over here, I think, east. And then this all sh shit happened. What? <laughs> um. As he has goes. <laughs> I think we should go have a drink and explain this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> While you guys do that, uh, I'm gonna check out this guy Julius. I think he might have information. Uh, if um, anyone would like to join me. Um. Yes. My head hurts. Right, yeah, so Amelia's gonna go look for Julius. I'm gonna take a break. Real quick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. I'm sure. Oh yeah. I gotta piss. Yeah. People yeah. need to pee. I would like to refresh my drink. Um, Some of us need to pee on each other. It's very easy. Uh, be back in about five minutes after this pee. Yeah. <laughs> be back, guys. Be on me. Just... Casually drop that crap. Nor did you leave me too? Oh no. I'm alone with my thoughts. I had sound coming out of my speaker and I heard you. No. Oh. I don't like that the music has changed. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to kill a lot of lizard folk. What's killing me is that we're not getting like any like we don't know where they're coming from, and I don't know how we're gonna figure that out. Oh no! Don't worry, I'm gonna figure that out. I got it. Oh yeah, uh, you have you have faith. You're gonna do to detect good and evil and be like, yep, there's bad people that way. Like a. Uh... uh, yes, something yeah. like that. It's like a. A metal detector. You'd be like beep 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 beep. Actually, that that shit would be going crazy off next to Malin. Sorry, no, it's fine, dude. Malin's not evil. He's misunderstood. No, he's evil shit, just like you, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you you're working for Vayek. I'm actually under Tiamat. Tiamat. Oh, Vayek my is girl, my girl Tiamat. Your girls, Tiamat. Before Randy, uh He's sorry, gone. I mean Malin, don't listen. Um Do you see the update I sent on uh Joe Manchinello's character. What do you mean? You mean the... Uh, on his... his... Tiamat following character. What do you What's mean? What's up? You mean his, whatchamacallit? His, uh, his Archon? Yeah, Archon. Yeah, I saw the, the picture of Archon that you tweeted. Why, was there an article or something attached to it? I don't... No, there's a comment oh. about what happened to him afterwards. They actually go into I'm more detail on oh, what didn't... happens to Archon. I didn't read it. Um, can I just ask... To do one thing before Malin splits us from splits up from us. Whenever we start. Sure. Are you gonna kiss him passionately? I hope so. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm uh, whenever we start. Is everyone back? No. I believe we're waiting on Malin. The scammer himself. Uh, I remember that Nadar Noxus was a badass, right? Um. 
or like apparently a badass. An alleged badass. You would will have you roll to remember when he when everyone gets back. Ah, crap. What time is it in? It's mo morning. Uh, it's pushing. I'd say well, close to mid afternoon at this point, like two o'clock in the afternoon. Fucking a! I need a long rest. Why? To switch my spells. <laughs> Let's do it tomorrow. I thought we had a long rest. Yeah, we had a long rest on the way here. Yeah, well, right, before the... I had no idea the city was under attack. I would have prepared speak with dead. I would have prepared stone meld. I would have prepared like warding. Oh. Well, lift. It doesn't seem like you're gonna have a long rest, boy, because they're gonna come in the night and we're gonna have to uh, fucking go thumping. That's what I'm saying. John, just so you know, glyph of warning is like a trap. <laughs> yes, I know. Like I'm, I'm giving examples. There was like the spear spell I could do. Let me took. Let me guess. You just took thaumaturgy. That's a I mean, cantrip. You can't yes. change it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I can. <laughs> they, you they you didn't equip spells. You have six empty spell slots. Yeah. I have. I have cantrips. I don't have on right now. Like word of radiance, toll the dead, spare dying. You can't change your toll the dead. <laughs> you can't change your cantrips, John. Yes, you can. No, you. No, you can't. Cantrips are what you just know innately. Just because you know them doesn't mean that you can prepare them. Uh, here, hold on. Really? Yeah. Let's ask the stream. Uh, alright. One person who's not us watching. Yeah, alright. Yeah, right. exactly. Wait, who's yeah, watching? I'm watching? It's fucking Matt Mercer. He's just like, uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> well, actually... <laughs> right now, during their game, he's yeah. actually watching. He's DMing, they're, they're he's looking... They're streaming right now, aren't they? I know, they? I know. No, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. tomorrow. Today's Wednesday, bro. Um, Good try. Oh, is it Thursday yet? No, it's not. Hashtag, is it Thursday yet? I will say, I've nothing made me squeal on the inside of that. You just it's... totally cut out. Yeah. I said nothing made me squeal more than when he actually responded to one of my tweets. <gasps> oh, did he, he did? Yeah, I, t I tweeted at him asking, uh, right before I started the campaign, saying, hey, I'm about to DM f for the very first time, and I got a group of about six to eight people. Uh, any advice for um, making an encounters, like, like, have, like, essentially like level encounters and he told me um very bought like he is he, he essentially he just he responded back a list uh, it was uh uh aoe damage and spells um very types of monsters um bring up the hp <laughs> it, I, it seems to me like they're all good at answering <laughs> is that how you do that tweets. is that no, how you balance serious, it quite... based on what it looks like they answer tweets a lot yeah, they're actually. I was like, and it was the same day too. It was within yeah. like an hour. Like that's what the the thing the thing that just like blew my mind it was like, it was like within the hour. You're like, what? You're actually monitoring your Twitter feed? <laughs> okay. Um, John. I've also tweeted like the first level. You know three in my life. Trips, Um, and at higher levels, you know more. So, for instance, at level one, you know three cantrips. You don't know all of them. You just know three. Ah. Uh. This game has lots of rules. That said, all of your other spells you can change because a cleric does know all spells of first level or higher. <clears throat> yeah, dru druids and clerics are ridiculous like that. Paladin! Paladins too. You are all ridiculous like yeah, that. Yeah, except we don't got no cantrips, so I can't be as cool. But I can cast sword. Yeah, yeah. There's so much balance here. So much. Balance. Wait, doesn't a sorcerer also know their spells innately or whatever? Because doesn't it? Isn't it like a um, not? So yes, they know it innately, but uh, and they have cantrips, but uh, they actually, unlike clerics, druids, and paladins, they only know a certain amount of spells. No, 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 yeah, yeah, and they, uh, they don't. I don't. I believe they don't. They, they once they know it, they know it, right? It's like you don't. Yeah, reset. they can count. Yeah, no, 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 but you have... can't, but I'm saying, like, they, they can't rearrange their spells after a short or long rest or something like that. Yeah, no, that's that's what I'm saying. It's so, like, it's a, you choose it, and that's it. Yeah, and all of their spells, if I'm not mistaken, are prepared, correct? Mm -hmm. Breezy? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, because the sorcerer comes, it comes from, like, whatever. The, it's, like, innate magical ability of from that individual. And a wizard exactly. is, like, the wizard is a scholar who can willy-nilly write, like, learn more, but he has to learn and... them to begin with. Yep. Whereas, like, the paladin and the cleric, they're they just also know it innately because it's coming from a god. Or What's a that deity. creature? Well, are paladins from gods, or are they just, like, they believe uh, no, in something it's, so it's, strongly? Uh, clerics are from gods, which we call paladins believe in, a, in, in something. Okay, 
like a belief. Yeah. Oh, I keep saying I'm a paladin. I'm not a cleric. God damn it. I cast Sward. Breezy. Um, are Yantui? What type of creature are they? Is, is that you asking in character? Or? You, I cannot hear you. I think you muted your mic. Hello. There we oh. go. Hi. Exactly. Are we? Uh, are we back? Yeah, we're all, yeah back. we're all back. Oh, fantastic! Welcome back. Yes, dude. Um. So, um, Malin, you are off to see if you can find this Julius character. Is anyone um, coming with me, or? Before he goes, um, just real quick, did I remember Nadar Noxious is a badass or a suppo supposedly a? Yeah, um, I will. I, I have to make you roll to see how much you remember from Tannis. Because Tannis didn't say a lot, so. Do we'll you want see me that. to do disadvantage because I'm Dinar? I would impose disadvantage on myself if, if you want. Roll an intelligence check with disadvantage. Okay. Five. She is a super fucking badass, dude. Like, oh my god. Like, cool. Do like cool. all the shit. Like, cool. maybe. Like, he, like, taught Xander everything. No. Um, he was an ally, and he okay. focused in the arcane. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull Malin to the side before we leave. <laughs> hmm. And um, then I walk away. Malin. Yes, Dinar. I don't know if I can trust you. Okay, that's but... a great way to start a conversation. <laughs> Anyone? And I yep. could read. I can read lips, and I want to see if I can see what they're saying. I purposely turn away from. You don't know that. I mean, You're deaf. I can put one. Two well, two if you turned away from him, I'm turned towards him. Thank um, you. <laughs> I mean, it's not my choice. I mean, I'm just wherever direction I'm looking. I don't know if he can see my lips, um, but. So, I don't know if I can trust you, but. Seems like stuff here is extremely, you know, dangerous, and this guy is extremely dangerous. Uh, so, I have uh, this staff, which is supposed to be good, that I can give you. Um, before I give it to you, uh, and I'm only saying this because I don't know if I can trust you, if you do anything with this staff, that causes harm to anyone that I don't want you to harm. All I'm going to tell you is I'm the one who killed the guy who had this staff before. <sighs> Very well. I promise you I won't harm anyone with this staff. Okay. Again, you can harm the bad guys. That's fine. Just not good people. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you the staff of evocation plus one. Uh, it should be under items. I think I created that item a while back. I don't know uh, if let's you can find it. Would it be uh, in DnZ Beyond or? Yeah, uh, I I did. I created a. Milan, it is it is a plus one staff, so it is a plus one to hit and um, damage rolls. Okay. And I th does it also do spell save DC plus one? Yes. I'm sorry. It, it's not damage rolls. It's it's plus one to. Um, Range spell attacks and uh, spell save DC. I believe. Uh, let me double check. I mean, I know for a fact it's plus one to attack. I think you told me it was spell save DC, but it, okay. I see just a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls. But when you equip it, does it affect? I think it doesn't. I'm. I'm. I'm it doesn't matter. I'm telling you what it does is that it because I remember the staff is that it's. It gives a plus one to spell save DC and uh, uh, range spell attacks. When you uh, when I did a tune in D and D Beyond just to test, by the way, it did affect spell save DC. Yeah. So as soon as he attunes to it, it'll automatically integrate into his character sheet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think maybe it's just like the uh, description doesn't say that. Okay. Doesn't yeah, matter. that's my bad. Okay. We'll go. Okay. Yeah, I see the plus two hit DC and stuff. Plus two. It says plus two hit slash plus DC. One. I think he's saying two as in T O. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, like it under hit slash DC, it says plus two. 
I don't know if it's adding anything to that. It doesn't. We'll worry about it later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're getting bogged down. Um, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so you are looking for the character. Um, uh, Dinar, are you going with him, or you just walked along enough to give him the stat? No, I just wanted to tell him that with the little nudge, nudge, intimidation. Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm not reading. Um, okay. Um, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna get to Kronor. Malin waited his turn, so we're, we're getting to him. Um. So, uh, Malin, uh, make a general investigation check. Okay. Ten. Okay. Um, you you go to the the southeastern part of town, this area down here, um, and you wander around for probably a good hour, hour and a half, um, and uh, you can't seem to find any specific information with Julia's character. Uh, everyone seems to be giving kind of the same response. They don't know if he's alive. They don't know if he's dead. They haven't they've seen him a while back, but they're not sure. Um, and they don't know where his shop is. I mean, they point you to his shop. Uh, his shop is destroyed. Knowing my history with looking for things that people might be hiding or people that are hiding, do I notice any trap doors around? Uh, around his establishment? Yeah, at least like on the floor or anything. Uh, where it used to be. Make an investigation check. 14. 14. Uh, you spend another half an hour uh, meticulously going through. Uh, you can't seem to find anything. Okay. You, you, also, also, you do find a door. Um, it's, it is not trapped. It's not locked. It's just a cellar. Um, and when you try to pry it open, uh, you are greeted to the site of rubble, dirt, and other types of cave-in evidence. Under the, uh, door? Under the door. Hmm. What if I just yell Julius really loudly? <laughs> sure, you spend the next couple minutes shouting... <laughs> Julius! <laughs> You get a couple very weird looks, and at one point, a woman just says, Oh, would you please be quiet? I just got him asleep! <sighs> very well. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I just walk back to wherever I remember the rest of the group being. Okay. The arrested sad walk. Uh, Krenor, um... Make another nature check. Uh, the DC is going to be lowered because you were able to discern a lot about them before. So. <clears throat> okay. But make just make a, a general wow. nature check. <laughs> Five. Five. You're unsure. Okay. Um. You remember from their history that they had ties to like the dark magical practices. Um. But you're un, based on both their physiology and your inf your previous knowledge of them, you're not terribly well versed in Yanti history. Um, okay. So you're you don't really know what they fit into in that respect. Okay, I have no more questions. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um. You, uh, what would you guys like to do for the rest of the day? <clears throat> Shall we go inform the mayor of all the things, all that, things we've, that we've uh, uh, uncovered? I agree with going to the mayor. I'd also like to spend some time perusing her books. If she has any information on these yon fellows. And then after we uh, have spent our time there, head over to the cackling cockatrice and prepare for uh, tonight should there be a fight 
while they talk to the mayor, uh, I would prefer to talk to the uh, guard captain, just to see what generally where they fight, stuff like that. Okay. Um, so Dinar peels off and goes back towards the western gate. Uh, That's that being... yeah. I'm going with him. Okay. Kunor joins. So Haruki and Malin, you guys make your way to um, the, the the central square, um, the central key, uh, square keep. Uh, and guards recognize you, remember you, and they let you in. Um, and there you see, um, uh, you see, uh, Lawmaster, uh, Tallstag with, uh, Guard Captain Ella, um, who are both, uh, in mid-conversation. Uh, Captain Ella looks up and says, Oh, hi! Yeah? Can we help you with anything? What do you, what do you need? Uh, good evening. We, um... Um, it's afternoon. How, do you not know how to tell time? I did, uh, evening, afternoon, same thing. Anyway, um, we've uh, come to some some uh, revelations about the enemy that you face after the inspection of the bodies. Um, and then I, you know, go ahead and divulge all that we found out about um, the the probability of them not being poisonous. The which we call the uh, the connection to the the second scale, um, and all that stuff. I haven't heard of the second scale before. The venom doesn't make sense. We've found several townsfolk with blackened veins and bulging dead faces. Hmm. Uh, we presumed poison, but may we could have been wrong. I mean, it might not uh, be from a bite. Then it could be some maybe their weapons coated, possibly. Maybe. Uh, I don't know much about these young TP things, um, but if they're snake people, these are certainly snake people that are t and stealing our people away. Uh, Lawmaster, do you know anything about more? Well, no, not really. Nice to know they have a name. Uh, Mayor, do you happen to have any uh, collections of books on ancient peoples, maybe? creatures that would match their description. I thoroughly doubt it. I uh, figured I'd ask. If you, want if you want books on law and governing, if you want books on crops, if you want books on trade disputes, if you want a family, uh, a book on uh, the, the family line of connection between tall stags and mosques, I got four uh, bloody Christmas presents. Uh, how, you know, Christmas how doesn't exist in the back, fall, never mind. How far back do these <laughs> histories on trade disputes go? Uh, far back into the founding of the, the town, to my knowledge. Oh, just to the town? Aye. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, no. Maybe a century, century and a half back or so? And, uh... So, yeah, just for clarity's sake, Cronor said they went back like thousands of years. Hundreds. The Yonti. Hundred oh, hundreds, centuries. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they they, they were they were presumably wiped out hundreds. Okay. Haruki, do you have anything else? Um. Uh. Ella, was it? Captain. Ella, yes. Captain Ella, my pleasure. Um, but could you give us more information of like where do they seem to be popping up in specific locations? As um, I mean, I know they've been popping up all over the the town, but do some sections of the town seem to have heavier concentration of them? What time do they come out at night? Uh, that's a fair question. Um. I mean, to begin with, they, they do love the, the breach in our wall that we haven't been able to fully fix. Um, that being said, uh, they've been switching tactics recently. Um, many a time we find uh, gates uh, that have been checked by myself personally uh, unlocked and with these bastards creatures pouring in. Um, <clears throat> we've uh, had some recently 
attempt to scale the walls, but they were easily cut down before they could make it. They haven't tried that one a lot since. Um, it's seemingly at random. They never seem to attack the same spot twice in a row, and they never seem to uh, attack twice, uh, you know, back-to-back -back nights. It's very, they, they tend to keep us quite up in our toes. My men and women are rather ragged, I, you understand. When was the, um, the last attack? Last night. So presumably we should be okay for tonight, then. Presumably, but it's... Um, I, have you... I can't take that assumption. Have you set up a curfew? Most people, I haven't had to, most people are too scared to stay out. Mm. Do you, do you have a, maybe like, a sort of battle map showing, I guess, when and where these, these people attacked the walls? Lawmaster, should I be showing them that? And the Lawmaster looks at you. Malin. <laughs> Make a general charisma check. Hey, <laughs> I'm not that sketchy. <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> 21. Ooh, babies. That awkward moment when you have both the two biggest charismatic people in the room together. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Show them the map. And you, they see one of the the map, the pictures that they are, or pieces of parchment that they had been looking over and discussing. Uh, it's a draw to the town map, dissimilar to what you all are looking at. Um, and it has marked in uh, ink um, the most recent attacks. They seem to be themselves seeming discern any type of a pattern. So there's uh, no type of pattern to the attacks? Uh, make an investigation check. Yes, um, yes, here we go. Can I also make sure? Uh, I, well, the same thing as always. Uh, either one, both you guys can make separate checks, or one can aid the other. Uh, I'll aid Haruki. Unless... Okay. This is what I wanted to do. Wow. Uh, nine. Uh, I rolled it's... an 8 and then a 7. Mm. I kill Haruki. <laughs> <laughs> you can certainly try. Uh, action Surge, uh, Fighting Spirit, you're dead. We'll have, yeah, all we'll... your <laughs> anyway. We'll have you that now. dick measuring. We'll have that dick measuring. <laughs> um, it's tough. Um, one of the things that kind of alarms you is the can, the amount of marked points of, it, of previous attacks. Mm. Uh, they seem to have attacked every side of the wall multiple times. Um, but with the because of that, you're unable to discern mm -hmm. any type of logic or pattern. Um, hmm. I suggest that you enforce a curfew. I for for you to mention that you know you've you've checked these gates and somehow you found they're found to be unlocked after. Um, and we you you you've stated before that they've. They've taken the shape of people enforcing a curfew. They'd be none the wiser, and they'd still be the kind of people to be roaming the streets. Or, you know, unless they're so embedded into us now, but, I mean, that doesn't seem likely. It seems like they're just using it as a distraction to, to let to people let in. Win. So I would enforce a curfew, and therefore you know you should be wary of any civilians out after that curfew, especially near gates and, and entry points. That's a good idea. We can be a bit more stringent. We can be a bit more stringent with the with our personnel by our gates. Absolutely. Mayor, I had a, another question. You don't mind? Yes. So you what, say what this, this, this 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 town was built. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. Kindest words you said to me all night. Hmm. Uh, you said this this town is a century old, right? Ah, uh, give or take. Do you know? If this town was built on any sites of any great importance to any past people. Hmm. I mean, not to my knowledge, no, it was just a point where a lot of roads kept meeting and travel past. Built an outpost and the outpost got bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I'd allow you to go look through our town, town's history if that's what you're looking to find. Appreciate that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Just don't please, you know, piss on any of them. <laughs> they are so, they are somewhat valuable to certain people. If any of them are worth pissing on, I promise I won't. <laughs> There's again a hairline smirk that is quickly to fade from her face. Mm. Also, Mayor, I have a question as as far as the population. Lawmaster, please. Uh, I hate the formal title of mayor. Mm. Lawmaster, well, uh, I, I do. Uh, I do apologize for the harshness of this, but before the death toll has racked up to what it is now, what was the population? I don't know. Just rough estimates, if you could. Roughly about 3,000 souls. And how many do you think you've lost so far? Maybe 500, 600? Hmm. This hasn't been going on for months, mind you. No, I, it's... I was thinking if if it would be possible to, uh, if you've lost more to consolidate and move the populace to maybe a portion, a singular portion of the city. Therefore, you could keep that under, it, it, make it easier for the guards to patrol if everything was just in one place. But you oh, seem wait, to wait, not wait, be wait. in that dire of straits as of yet. We did we did try to limit one or two buildings per corner of the town. Uh, but there was damn near right rioting near the end. Everyone stuffed into buildings that couldn't hold them. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, it took our got our guards a bit distracted, and we lost quite a few number that night. Mm. Okay then. And um. But it is unfortunately a thing that we have been considering for these attacks to keep going. However, you all are here, so I pray to all the prime gods that we don't have to worry about that. You haven't tried to capture any of them, have you? Uh, Captain Ella, have any of your, uh, any of your ilk tried? Captain Ella says. Um, to be honest, a few times that any of them do survive, they don't survive the uh, rage of the mob. Um, we managed to capture one, but... Um, Nobody here could understand what they sounded like, so we had to kill them. Hmm. Well, we did find out that they are of the second skin, and that was due to our lizard friend. So maybe we shall have better luck and come the night. Between me and Dinar, we, we might be able to figure out their, their language. Is that so? We we did find when we discovered that they were of the second scale. Uh, there are combinations of certain languages that both me and Dinar speak. Oh, what did I say? Sec what I say? Second what? skin. I have the spell tongues. Go. Oh. Oh. Damn, just, that's just, a weird pigeon. Just to just to clarify. Mm -hmm. um, second skill, Gotcha. Well, um, I haven't. I don't believe you've come across any pieces of writing. Uh, what, from what you've said from this banner on their uh, on their arms, that seems to be the first bit of literature that's ever crossed our paths from them. But we'll we'll keep an eye for more. Okay, and uh, which way did you say these archi archives were? Uh, up the stairs, uh, second hall. Very well. If if you all will uh, allow me to leave, uh, can you okay. show him? And she points to one of the guards. That's unless you you would like to converse more with me. I have anything I would love at nothing, all. Love nothing more than for you to leave. Take a second to think about it. <laughs> uh, can you please escort him up to the books for all of the love of all of the gods? And uh, um, I will go. Um... I guess rendezvous with the two others since they went to go find you, Captain Ella, and you seem to be here. So I shall go That's to the west. That's what we're doing. <laughs> that is so was exactly you, what you were doing, I thought. Nope. You, you both said you're looking for well, Captain Ella. Yes, yeah, no, that's exactly she's what I was literally doing. <laughs> that's exactly what in I was the doing. room with us all, and you went off to the west gate, so now I'm going to run yes. to you to tell you that we already did what you were going to do. Whoops, I just wanted to go to the gate, not... Captain. Oh, well, that's awkward then. 
Okay, so the two of you, you get to the gate. Uh, there was no captain to be found. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Guys! We're, 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 we're going back in time, we're going back in time. <laughs> Haruki runs back in time. <laughs> so he fast. Wish, uh... The fastest. He wishes he could. Um, so, uh, Dinar and Krenor, you get to the western gate. Um, there are the same guards that you met there before. Uh, captain Ella. Uh, do you guys know where Captain Ella is? I, uh, think she's talking to the lawmaster. God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Well, I, I, hold on one second, don't I? Does it look like I can repair the gate uh, with uh, mending? Is it. Mending broken? is a f cantrip? First level spell? Yes. First level spell. Uh. Cantrip. 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 It's a lot of damage. Sad. Um, you could attempt over the next couple days. No, 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 no. But that'd be like <laughs> eight to ten hours a day. Nothing else. You're. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You're the cleric. You have to say it. <laughs> the ability to heal. <laughs> the ability to heal. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Okay. And I guess I turn around to go look for Captain yeah. Ella. I'll go with uh, Wait, Donar. first on the guards. Is Captain Ella in charge of all the guards uh, with regards to defense and where everyone is stationed for the incursions? Uh, I, yes, that's one of, that's one of many responsibilities. <sighs> I turn around and start walking back. <laughs> Okay, you you both make it about halfway down the main road. All of a sudden, you see Haruki jogging <laughs> in plate armor. <laughs> <coughs> hey, hey guys, um, you Is there uh, another attack? no, you missed Captain Ella. She's with the mayor. We uh, we we brought her up to speed with everything. Um, yeah, you should should have probably came with us first, you know, instead of just walking. Did you run all the way here to tell us that? I need a good run every once in a while. Keeps these old bones spry. Do, oh. do you want to run back together? Is that a challenge? No, just a, just a friendly workout. Do so you want to race? No. I want to race. <laughs> you can race yourself. Kronor, you want to race? I'm, go I'm gonna race. Alright, let's race. <laughs> uh, okay, well... I'll I'll start you guys off. Do you know how to count to three, Donar? Crap. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna say something that sounds like three, and then you go. Okay. Here we, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, and I go. I I would like you both to roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, that's a thirteen. Uh, that is initiative 12. All right. Ooh. Um, so, Dinar, you, uh, get a little bit of, uh, of a jump. Uh, so you start off a bit first. So you are going to make an athletics check with advantage. Um, Haruki, you're going to just make a regular athletics check. Uh, those were horrible rolls. Uh, 13. Ooh. I've rolled shit. Um, athletics. Mm -hmm. Um, fourteen. Fourteen. All right. So you both get halfway there, Dinar. Even though the fact you were up off the block, so to speak, a bit quicker and and bounding along, clank, 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 clank. Uh, you get about halfway there before. Clank, 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 clank. <laughs> <laughs> As this um, this uh, this individual Haruki. Um, who you saw move rather fleetly and quickly in battle seems to catch pace with your large uh, young dragonborn form and then start to surpass you a little bit. I need you both to make one more athletics check. God damn it! Ooh. Ten. Uh, athletics, that is a 23. 23. With almost a half turn and a smile, uh, 
Haruki just the clanking stops and almost seems to glide effortlessly <laughs> to the edge back towards the the square keep, uh, beating you by a full two seconds. Whew. Yep. Just stretching. Ugh. Yeah, that was a good that was a good warm up. Oof. You're kind of you, you're like blown like a bellows. <sighs> I just stretched <laughs> up. You uh, you did you did uh, pretty good. Look, I'm better at the healing and the and the stabbing. Sorry, I'm better at the <sighs> hands above head. Healing. Kronor, you wanna go for a run? I'm not even in hearing distance. <laughs> You turned Kronor! off your ear. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> there, there are, by the way, there are two, like, teenage... There's a boy and a girl that were cleaning up a bunch of rubble off this on one of the buildings to the side that were watching this entire thing just mouths open. <laughs> just like... <laughs> and then they just see the little fucking gnome. <laughs> like, really dark... <laughs> really dark gnome just walking. They both just kind of look at each other and they drop whatever piles of rubble they had and they just start walking away. <laughs> hey, Come on, you old man! Pick it up! Hey, Haruki. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Denar? Let, let, let's, do, let's do the bro shake, you know, the Beastmaster shake. Oh, is this more custom <laughs> to, to... instead of uh, bowing, or...? Yeah. Yeah, oh. it is. Well, I will... Uh, I will do this going forward. It's our thing. Do, okay. Do you, okay. Do you have Do you have the hat that you have in your picture? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Damn. All right. Anyway, he's working on it. Uh, actually, it just as a side note, whenever there's in the downtime of us traveling, I would like to try to put together a a rice hat. Wait, this is extremely important. Hmm? Do you have a piece of straw that you also put in your mouth? Yes. Roll for hat. Okay. <laughs> yes. There's the straw in the mouth, and there's the the straw on the hat. Which yep. is the thing that's most infuriating to you, Dinar, is that in that entire athletic display, that piece of straw did not leave his mouth. Oh my god, he's a video game character. Oh my god. Shinderu. Did he run like Naruto? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, god, that's no. exactly. No, oh, what? No. Absolutely back. not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. No, because because Denar would have won easily had that been <laughs> the, case. It's the most inefficient fucking way to move. <laughs> Too but funny. it makes it look like you're running fast. You go like that. Too funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, so eventually, I guess. Whenever I see Captain Ella. <laughs> I mean, Haruki just told you Captain Ella is inside the square keep with, um, with a uh, Lawmaster's tall stack. I'm gonna take a minute to catch my breath and then walk in. Okay. Give him a couple taps uh, in the back. All right. Um, because I, this is my fault, Milan. I'm sorry, I, I forgot, and I feel remiss. Uh, so the guard takes you up around. Um, uh, it's a, it's a humble library by your standards, um, but thankfully not looted or burned or destroyed. Uh, and uh, it takes you a couple minutes, but you you're able to come across a, a section of uh, books that uh, uh, about a dozen or so, I'd say, that go over. Um, that that seem to be of relevant topics. Um, I would like you to make an investigation check. Okay. Just so I clarify, I'm looking for things like zoning laws that go way back about like what used to be here and what they built over and all that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Good to know. Okay, and you said investigation. <laughs> Please. Natural one. <laughs> you spend uh, the rest of the day until just about sundown up there, um, and you've went through the entire dozen books once. Again, nothing. You frustrated? Did you pull out another one? You go through nothing. You open up another one, flip through, nothing. You're just getting more and more frustrated. The more frustrated you get. 
the quicker you, you attempt to speed read, and you can feel yourself seeing things and forcing yourself to go back and reread, but the information is just not sticking in your head. You're looking at the words, but the words aren't registering. It's like being back in college and having to read through a chapter, <laughs> and oh then and then getting about a paragraph in, and then your mind just blanks, and you realize you just flipped through the last five pages and didn't take in any of the knowledge, so you had to go back. It's just that over and over and over again, and you're getting extremely frustrated at, at yourself. All you hear is Pelor, Pelor, Pelor. Uh, I throw a book against the wall and say, fuck it, I'm getting a drink. Oh. And which is funny because you hear behind you, oh, that's a good thing because that's what I was about to tell you to do because I'm kind of sort of closing up shop as it were for the night. Oh, have you been here the whole time? No, just about the past four or five seconds. Oh. Well, hey, uh, well, I'm doing that. If you could find the time to maybe look for what I was looking for. Yes, I'll just take out take time out of my busy schedule of making sure the town doesn't get burned down. Or all of its people die and run away. I mean, if it makes a difference, I could burn this building down. <laughs> get the fuck out of my office. Uh, very well, you can't take a joke. <laughs> just You're leave. joking to the mayor of a town under siege. <laughs> Also, how much of a joke is it, really? <laughs> like, the, the greatest humor comes from great tragedy. <laughs> Very non-pulsed, Malin half skips out of <laughs> the library, out of the, of the, of the square keep, um, and goes to find a drink at the tavern he was told that they have lodging, where he doesn't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> None of you actually know what the cackling cockatrice is. I thought, um, someone, Tomlin, told us. No, he pointed you in the direction of Anton. Oh. <laughs> where, where am I? I'm in the... the... <laughs> you're, in the well, you're, you're in the center of town. Were we in the center uh, along with the captain, too? Yes, but this was hours ago at this point. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm assuming the captain took us to wherever. Yeah, upon inquiry, yeah, she pointed you in the right direction. Okay, okay, okay. So the rest of you have been introduced to the cackling cockatrice. Uh, it's rather crowded. Um, it's later on in the. It's much more crowded than you would expect for this comparatively early in the afternoon. So much sunlight left in the day. Um, uh, however, you are able to um, uh, find a small table that can fit most of you. Um, the the young sandy-haired uh, bartender. Uh, kind of walks over uh, very quickly and exasperately like, alright, so there's a about, there's about to um, uh, seven of you guys here I think uh, the round of drinks for everyone here um, I don't want to... <laughs> do you make tea? you want a round of tea? No, I mean, for me, I don't know. I mean, everybody else, I'm assuming, wants, you know, ale. Okay, four, four, four ales and a tea. All right, we'll get that done for you. Uh, I would, would like you guys to take any food. Anything else? No. Can I take some food? I'm kind uh, of... Oh, yeah, food. No, 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 no. That's, that's what they asked. Come on, my skilly friend. Pay attention. In the conversation. In the conversation. All right, so uh, there'll be the two bacons and some tea and uh, the ales for the rest of you. All right? All right. Denar, do you say something? No, 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 I just, I, I wanted to talk to the captain before we got this, but I could, I'll wait until we're done with all this. That's, That's fine. fine. Uh, what did you want, what did you want to say to the captain before you? Basically what I've just, same thing I've been asking, it's just more of where does she want us stationed? Uh, do you want us like in the east, west, stuff like that? N nothing that we actually need to go through all the role playing of. I mean, she says to be perfect, she, to be, uh, to be perfectly honest, um, I would f be a lot safer knowing that you're with most of the people in the town. And that's and, uh, in the Cackling Cockatrice? Of uh, the people in this corner, yeah. I mean, this is where we move most of the non-combatants. Uh, do you want us... Do, do, uh, do you want us, like, uh, walking around the streets, or do you want us, like, just in the inn? I'll already? leave that up to you. You guys are the ones that the experts that brought in. Okay. My I'll, men can... Uh... I'll say this. My men can handle the gates. If they're, okay. if you hear horns, 
That means shit's about to hit the fan. Should we go to the horns or stay with the people? What's a fan? God damn it, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> shit's about to hit the people who hold the lead. <laughs> Krenor, uh, uh, take, a, take a d6 inspiration for pointing out incontinuity of the DM. <laughs> it's almost like we have a bard again. <laughs> um, uh, that's when um, shit's about to go bad. Uh, be ready. Defend the tavern. Defend the people in the tavern. Anybody out on the streets is either an idiot or there to, to mess up these scale things. Oh, wait, Those... did she, um, I'm sorry, did she enforce the curfew? She has let her guards know about it, yes. Okay. Uh, she okay. she tells you that she's going to be set up to make sure the guards know and she's going to be going around, uh, as part of her end, ending rounds of the night to make sure that everyone stationed there knows about it. Okay, okay then we'll talk about our plan, but we will stay near the inn unless uh, you need us elsewhere. Hmm. Alright, good luck tonight. Hopefully it's a quiet one. <clears throat> Am I still looking for the... This is happening, yeah, this is happening yeah. while you are okay. currently trading books to no avail. Okay. Um, so you all, you all sit. Uh, bacon is brought for the two people that requested food. Uh, ale is brought, um, and Haruki placed in front of you is a very battered what looks to be like copper teapot, mm -hmm. uh, a glass, and a uh, a small cup of various dried herbs and leaves. And the guy goes, "I'm sorry, you're going to have to make it yourself. Uh, it's as, as you can tell, it's a. I didn't want it to uh, you know, to, to wait while I brought out the other drinks, and it's a little busy in here." <laughs> oh, my good sir, it is no trouble at all. And I crack I'll my get, fingers. I'll, I'll try to have price if that makes it any better. <laughs> Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, uh, that will come to uh, about five silver for the drinks and the bacon and the, and the tea. I'm gonna give uh, three gold. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Uh, you guys need anything for the rest of the night? You come find me, right? Yeah. Thank. Uh. He's like walking away, looking at his hand. Are you are you going to be here all night? Uh, until until they I go to yes yes I will I will be here all. Night. <laughs> Point being, if you could let the owner know, or if you will be here, if anything uh, springs up outside, and we're not here, as in down here, if we're up in our rooms or wherever we are, um, downstairs, come get us. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure the lady knows. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Elvira is. She's pretty good about that type of stuff, things. Anyway, uh, you guys will probably be staying upstairs. Downstairs is filled, uh, supplies and uh, some of the families as well. Wherever's easiest. Yeah. Uh, by the way, as you as you walk in, it's a it's a dark red wood building, uh, two stories, um, long slated roof. Um, most of the windows on, on the sides seem to either have been broken and boarded up or just boarded up. Uh, the door itself uh, is still intact. Uh, there seems to be piles of heavy rubble both on the inside and outside of the door that's the, and heavy scrape marks <clears throat> on the wood leading up to it. Um, uh, and you kind of get the sense that these, these piles are, are moved at the beginning and end of each day. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna pray a little bit before possible battle. Have a good night. You don't want your drink, are you sure? I'm not much of a drinker. I right, leave it on the table, one of you all have it. Uh, Elter goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I too am only gonna have the one ale, eat the food, and then go up to rest as well. Okay. Because it's, uh, uh, you said it's like late afternoon? It's about five ish o'clock or so in the. And it's yeah, also. I'll, I'll start a rest since night is when shit goes down. It's also about, an, about this time that a very excess 
and very annoyed Malin just comes grumpily storming in. Uh, Malin, you've spent the last hour wandering <laughs> around town looking for this before you finally broke down, asked uh, a passing uh, uh, den denizen of its location, and she points out that it is um, uh, the block opposite of where you are, the, the corner opposite of where you are in. And you huffily make your way. She describes the dark redwood exterior, and you kind of sort of push your way in. Um, you see you, uh, the people you recognize, and you quickly make your way uh, and kind of sit down in the huff. Um, ah. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. I discovered pretty much everything I knew before, and nothing more. Hmm. So a recap it was then. Yep. Brought to you by Loot Crate. Uh, <laughs> mm. Which you guys find. Yeah, same, John. Well, we're, uh, we're, we're getting there, guys. Don't worry. Nothing. We just... um. We're to... Uh, I don't know. We, we we're gonna come up. We, we were coming up with a plan. Um, the the captain uh, enforced a, a curfew later tonight. So I think it would be wise for us to patrol the streets, and if we see any civilians walking out, to not to um to be cautious of them, as they did, could be enemies since the curfew has been enacted. Did I already go upstairs? when they're having this conversation. You were about to leave when Malin came in. Uh, I'll stay for a couple minutes just to fill him in too. Um, okay. I mean, you guys do what you want, but they wanted us to protect the people in this inn, and that's what I'm going to do. I don't think they just mm. meant the people in this inn, and I feel like with No, the... they, they did explicitly. Well, I, I wasn't here, so I can't. Wait, no, hold on. Did they actually specifically say just the people in this inn, like, fuck everybody else in the quarter? Like, that seems a little ridiculous. They said to make... I don't they, know. they said, based on what, what Captain mm -hmm. Ellis said, was make your priority defending the... People. The people, because most of the non-combatants of this, of this corner are being housed in the tavern you're currently stationed in. Okay. So, like, we can go to other places, but focus on the inn. Mm -hmm. That's up to you. Well, it, that's, well, that's just okay, what I got. Okay. I mean, well, the best way, I think the best way for us to go about that is, well, hmm, first of all. <laughs> Split the party. <laughs> no, we should, we should go through the people who are already here, make sure that they can, you know. Well, here, here's the thing. There's four walls. There's four of us. I think we should each take a wall. Hold on. There's, I'm telling you, there's a better way to do this, right? First of all. First you know, as the as the curfew hits, we go through the people that are already here just to make sure there's none hiding amongst us as it is. I don't think these. Yeah, the, I uh, I call the the. Hold on, guys. Which one of these people is the the bartender, the owner of this tavern? I'm asking you guys, like in the group. <laughs> uh, did we get a name from him? No, he's just it was it was he was it's human. The the, the, or, the the guy the, the, the just... server who was with you guys mm -hmm. was like a sandy haired youth, and then mentioned <laughs> that the lady will be notified. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Or they... I wanted to ask. I figure someone who owns or runs a tavern would be someone who would notice new faces. They You're see right. pretty much You're everyone. Right. Oh, uh, well, so... actually, yeah. Uh, can I call the which I'm call the barkeep over again? Okay. You call the barkeep over, and as he makes your uh, over to you, um, all of a sudden, a bayful noise makes its way through. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well. Just... Justice has going to pray. As in, that's the horn type sound? It sounds horny. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm scared to click that. <laughs> I always dread new music. Oh boy. Uh, outside, you hear all of a sudden what sounds like screams and scuffles, crashing glass, 
all of a sudden you hear a cacophony of shouts and roars that seemingly have erupted out of nowhere. The the immediate mood outside, somebody comes bursting in, this older, white-haired man comes bursting in through the front of the door. <laughs> Dark and black and blood spurts from his mouth down his side as he falls down, and you see two large wooden bolts sticking out of the back of his... Uh, out of his back as he falls down. Well, um, I'm upstairs. Uh, I have to um, hold on. Give me. I have to grab you guys. So just give me a second. I'm assuming right now we're just going to set up as opposed to actually fight. Shh. Okay, never mind. I just... Okay. As you all rush out... You see, standing on the outside, with a cruel, casual grin on his face, a dark, gray-scaled humanoid, uh, standing about six and a half feet tall, with a large, wedged, cobra-shaped face and skull, casually sw swirling some sort of bladed instrument in his hand. Uh, behind him, you see four will look to be brutish lizard-like humanoids snarling upper uh snarling tusks poking up from the bottom of their of their jaws long large claws brooding and shaking in front of them as they look towards shaking and convulsing wildly look around as you see other various groups being led away uh different individuals and 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 people being dragged away by their hair and their clothes by other groups of these hulking greenish uh scaled uh, people and the one standing in front of you looks at you all about to bursting through the tavern your katash near see yes and that's where we're going to end tonight's game sure mm, sir, sir. holy shit Ooh. all day all day can you guys see the everything that on this? Is this all revealed? I forget. Uh, I... No, all we see is I don't see the enemies. Yeah, I just see us. Oh, yeah, all I see okay. Is, like, Give me a layer. second. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Uh... I see a big yellow line. Yeah, I just oh. drew that. How do I head tag? Oh. 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 oh zoom, zoom out. Zoom out. That's a lot. Whoa! What the Holy fuck? Holy shit! Oh jeez! What? Oh jeez, Rick! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! And this into this this individual here. Oh hey, is that Tana Marsk in the red dress? <laughs> yeah. You you've yes you've solved it. She's ev she is everywhere. <laughs> um, individual speaking this weird guttural. It and it, again it, it sounds like it's this horrid combination of common syllables thrown on on draconic uh modifiers with this abyssal undertone to it uh it resonates horribly in your ears um so yeah uh just to let you know since we're talking uh next week is yom kippur on tuesday so i can't or tuesday night to wednesday night i for sure cannot play tuesday wednesday is a maybe uh, I, I'm gonna say this right now. I don't know if I can run a game next week. My, okay, that, my yeah, schedule just, is real shitty for that. No, that's fine. I just, uh, I just want to let you know. While oh, yeah, guys, so you heard it here first. You know, might not be a game next week. So, yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, like and subscribe. Get some more updates. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, uh, don't do thanks, those things. Thanks, 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 boys, for playing. Thanks, Breezy, for DMing, and we will catch you next time. Bye, guys. That's it. Yeah.